And we'll start recording so we can get your chickens in the video. Yeah. These are the, well, they're all, they're all in bed now. Link uh, fine. They're the, coming up on two weeks. Those. Sleepy kitten. Wait a You took away my chance to watch the finale, so I can complain. Is that Sarah complaining about something? Yeah. I heard her. Sarah, what 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 finale? This is the series finale of the Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. Uh, oh, I've heard of that. I might have just won because of that because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get it. So I'm saying she's gonna have to watch you guys and and uh, and the hockey and the hockey game on on uh, on mute. Well, that's the. I can't imagine a better night. Just get her some chocolate and she'll be happy. And we already had chocolate. Oh, you can't have too much. We just went out for a three birthday dinner for um, me, my mom, and my grandfather. All have oh, made is it? Days. Is it your birthday weekend? Well, it is, but that's not why I'm home. I'm home from your friend's wedding, right. who scheduled his wedding on my birthday. <laughs> you, you want to get it selected as fast as possible. Yeah, but um, we went to this amazing restaurant, and they had they also make chocolates there, and so that's what we had for our dessert cakes. Ooh. So wait, when's your birthday? <laughs> what? what what date is your birthday? Um May twenty eighth. So um ah. that would be Sunday. Ah. My son's is May 29th. You guys have a, a oh, day guys of the have Monaco a... Grand Prix, the Coca-Cola. Abby, how old are you? I'm gonna be under seven. How old? I'm gonna be thirty-three. Twenty-seven? Thirty-three. Thirty-three. <laughs> Uh, you know, uh, do you guys have a chain uh, uh, of restaurants, uh, Cooper's Hawk? No, that's probably oh, a Jesus. local chain. Yeah. I did that during practice. Nope. Never heard of them. Anybody else going to have birthdays this week? I can have one. I'll have one. No. <laughs> yeah. Mine passed. Not there. Oh. No. Okay. Just Mine was the 20th. Yeah, my mom's birthday oh, was the last week? August 12th. What did you, you do for your birthday, Brandy? Oh, uh, we went to see a band do uh, a couple bands actually do some cover songs of the Ramones. Oh, it was really fun. Cool. The Ramones. Yeah, it was fun. Brandy, um, <laughs> when was your birthday? May 20th. Okay, happy birthday. Thanks, and happy birthday to you soon. Thank you. Well, she, she, got, she got her happy birthday song last week. She, she, she was, she, you were turning, so you're turning 21? You turned 21? Me? <laughs> no, I can't remember. I think I might be like, I think 45. Really? I thought yeah. you were in your 30s. <laughs> no. <laughs> She's kind of a teenager. I have two adults. Adults now, <laughs> basically. Well, I know. Yeah. I just see otherwise, I otherwise, I would think she was in her thirties. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Peggy says. Peggy says, "Sorry to miss trivia tonight. I'm leaving town early tomorrow, and I have a ton of stuff to get ready for it. If you're short on categories for the following weeks, I have a few on top. Thank, have fun." Okay. Okay, Peggy, you are. You were on for next week. I'm working week. on a couple of categories to have just in oh, case. Oh, okay. Yeah. And Adrian said she's going to be like lighthouses. Me. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> we have to name exactly the, uh, the oh, lighthouse. Just say hi. Just real quick. So okay. Peggy's on for next week. Got her. Uh, Paula said if she shows up, it'll be late. Uh, Deborah says late. she's going to be That's a little late. late. Ben might be a little late, too. Ben's going to be late. Okay. I hope yeah, we, oh, I think this is, is my uh, baby brother coming? Did he say anything about that? No. He's been he's been re binge reading uh, all the old Louis Anne cartoons, and I don't know if he's going to be. No. <laughs> hey, I listen up for a second. Here's some introductions. I got a room full of family. Oh, please. Oh, my look at wife. This. Wait, let me right. paint. Wait, let me see. Hi, Emma. Hi, hi Emma. Is that a daughter? Hey, Jake, say hi to my friends. Although I am good. Wait, wait, wait. I, who said anything about I French? French. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I want to talk. Oh, Allie. Sorry, guys. 
He's got a room of people here. My goodness. Yeah. What are you doing? With so, uh, people? Kevin, are those your kids and your wife? My son, my, <laughs> my two sons, my wife and my son's girl, uh, girlfriend. Oh, We're down the Cape wow. at my mother's house. So one of, the, week, one of the sons vacation. from the Army? Yes. Jake's here from oh, South wow. Korea. Oh, wow. Wow. Neat, neat, neat. How is he all jet lagged or? No, no, he's not jet lagged because that was a week. He's been here a week already. Oh, okay, so he's over it. Oh, that's exciting. Very. So we're down the Cape, just doing stupid shit, looking at lighthouses. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a there's a lighthouse behind him, you guys. Look at that. He's not kidding. That's my mother's wallpaper. Does anyone know what's going on with Lou? Because I I haven't seen him in ages, and he was no, even. We haven't seen him. We haven't seen him. He was here once. A month or two ago. Who? Three months. Lou. Ago. Lou, the lighthouse guy. Hillman. Oh, he hasn't been here for for ages. A year. Yeah. Been here in a while. No, he doesn't do Facebook really. I mean, he's he's yeah. got a fake account, but he hardly ever does. It, so he probably isn't like being reminded. As far as he knows, he probably doesn't even know we're still around. Someone should remind him, I, or if they, if you can contact him. We want more. We want more lighthouses. Yeah. Categories. Look, Vincent's here. Hello, Vincent. Hi. And Adrian, I see you. Troy. Hello, Troy. And in, in the in the garden of what is that? I don't know. Grass, something. <laughs> you Maybe it's a grass. Grass. You're this small. You're actually just shrunk down and you're in the grass out there. Yeah, and then there's then there's some atheists that I don't really know very well. Ha ha ha. Because the well known atheist. Uh -huh. Oh, I didn't. He's not the well-known atheist. Well-known skeptic. The well -known right? skeptic. 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 Sorry, Sorry about no, that. No, you just ruined the joke. Dang yeah. it, Avi! It was just like it was like you only have one job, and you blew it. Actually, I just got announced. I'm going to be on the ACA show. You know, the people who run the Atheist Experience. They have a bunch of other shows. So I'm going to be on one of their shows called the Nonprofits. Oh, and, I think, and it, and they're going to use my name. They said, "You want me to use your name or the uh, column thing?" I said, "You can use the column thing," and they're going to be very confused. You should put a bag over your head, like the unknown comic, and be the unknown <laughs> skeptic. Yeah. yeah, and then take it off. Actually, he would just there's, sigh, and we there's would there's all actually an atheist YouTuber who he appears on camera and his face is always static. I forget who that is, but it's very weird. Why? Well, someone's already got the idea. Oh, is he, is he a pastor or something, and he doesn't want anybody? That's to know. possible. Prophet of Zod. Yes, thank you. Thank so, you, Bob. Prophet of Zod. That's his, he, that's his he, channel. He does, yeah. he does, he does, Bob's uh, showing us some chicken coops. So, what are you saying, Bob? He does call in shows. He, he's shown his face. Oh, he has shown his face. So, why does he his do script, that? Why does his he do scripted that? Scripted videos. That's his. You ever see Logic? They, no. they come up with a character, and you know, you, how you, you know, you just do, a, you, you create a character, Boy. and you decide how it'll appear. And, he just goes with yeah. it. Okay. Oh, I see. He turned to the step. You know, it's that's just how he said it. So tonight is all Rob, right? All what? Rob. What? Yes, I know. He's playing around, you guys. Yeah, there's his picture, I guess. I think that's him. Yeah. Glasses. Boy, I sure am glad I decided to become an atheist. Now that I've denied God in my heart. I, oh, that's I me sure playing. Am. Or somebody's <laughs> playing it. <laughs> We're all playing it. <laughs> These darn videos, they start playing as soon as you turn, click on them. So so for the nonprofits, they do four. It's not, it's one of, it's the only show they do that's not a call-in show. They do four subjects, I think, through through the and they give there's always four guest hosts. And they give each one a chance to lead with like talking about the subject initially, and then everyone chimes in. What what sub what kind of subjects? It's usually about separation of church or state or how much religion is screwing people up and things like that. But occasionally they'll go off topic a little bit. And at about a month ago, they did Havana syndrome. And uh, I happened to watch that one and I thought they did an awful job. Nobody mentioned the probable explanation at all. They were all trying to explain how energy weapons can do this, but it's probably not aliens. And I don't even know where they got the, it's not aliens thing. Cause I never heard anyone pointing fingers at aliens, but anyway. Did you I say have they said it's probably not aliens as in there's a 
there's a possibility that it is yeah yeah it's, it's, probably it's a possibility but anyway they never got to the you know the the, the basic real uh concept of what this is so i have suggested we cover it again from that perspective so we'll see oh that'll be great does anybody know who karen brown is no she's about to enter so I, I was at the triangle skeptics yesterday and i invited several people so it might be one of them so they that doesn't sound familiar but maybe so this is people who doubt there are triangles <laughs> that's right <laughs> they go like this they only like rhombuses and uh, rectangles they specifically doubt euclidean geometry no carolyn do you want to have special powers tonight i'm leaving early again well, forget it then i'm sorry yeah. fine how Just early fine. are you leaving by nine, especially tonight, because I'm nine, expecting a phone call. Nine. Did you make her? Did you make a special category for her? By nine, East Coast. All about Carolyn's. Well, I'm wondering if I should switch that. So you're you're on you're in the Pacific time, right? Yep. So by nine, you mean three hours from now? That's that's right. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Less than three hours. Yes. Two hours, forty-five minutes. <laughs> two hours, 40 seconds. 40, forty-seven seconds. <laughs> Brandy, you want it? Sure, I'll take it. I've never okay. done it before. That's what I thought. That's the one to give it to some people who haven't done Hi, it. Hi, Brandy. While. I didn't see you there. Try to find your mute. Hello, Karen. They have we have we have Karen Brown here, you guys. Hello, Karen Brown. Hello, Karen Brown. Karen How'd Brown's you find on, us? You're, you're on mute. On, you're on mute, Karen. We can't, we can't hear you if you're talking. You're on mute, Karen. We can't hear her if she's not I talking. I don't know if she can hear us because she's not reacting to that she's on mute. We can't hear you, Karen. There, she's off oh. mute. She's off mute. She did it. Okay. Hi, Katie. I'm a friend of uh, Karen A. And I. Oh, wonderful. I... <laughs> well, welcome. Are you local? Uh, I don't know what local means to you. Oh, Monterey County. <laughs> I live in Monterey. Yeah. Okay, I'm in Salinas. There's a bunch of us here. Well, welcome. Yeah, Karen usually shows up in a little okay. bit. She's been talking people into coming and hanging out. It's been really nice. Wow. I'm getting to know all her friends. <laughs> but she is but a, none, a good but none ambassador of them come back. for anything. <laughs> yeah, she's 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 a she's very popular here. You will find that that she is just a sweetheart. We love her. How do you know her from the Democrats or from the Unitarian Church or or church is where it started? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She's she's got so many interests that it's hard to say. I live down the street from her. Oh, I'm across the street and down and a block away. So, um, actually, I hardly ever see her. <laughs> Whatever, just living a, within a block. Hmm? Very busy. Yeah, she's really busy, and we can't see each other's house, so it's not like where you have the kind of neighbor where you go out to put the trash out and you go, "Oh, there's so and so," then you go and you hang out halfway through and. And, and talk for a while oh she warned you right she told you what to expect and all that good stuff and that we're we're good people we're not gonna freak you out or anything like that but she she probably told you about the game right how how it works and she did not tell me a whole lot about the game okay and, uh, oh but she at least told you that every time someone plays for the first time they have to do a, a, a category of questions right so you have to oh. know she's oh. <laughs> Here comes uh, iPhone. Who's no? Well, she didn't I can tell really you that. get to work. <laughs> yeah, you better get on it. So what's gonna? Ha well, let's see. Somebody named iPhone is joining. I don't know who that is. Oh, let's wait and see. Sure. <laughs> the suspense. I mean, Avi, I thought you were going. Um, I didn't know you were gonna stay this long. How long are you? I'm here you? until the 29th. I would have oh. been staying longer, but my um, residence card in Germany expires on the 31st. And Ooh. the new one hasn't come in yet. Maybe so have to go back to get one. Yeah, so I have to be back there by the 31st. Otherwise, they won't let me back into the country. Ooh, so what happens if like you can't get back? What happens? What would happen? Um I visa would probably have to go to the the um embassy or whatever in Chicago and figure something out. Wow. Hi Caspian. Good. I'll have one. Are you Can in you the dog? Out? Is that, are you, no, what is that? Is that a dog house behind you? Let's see. Uh, Abby, if it, if, if it's not. No, it's a house for cats. It looks like it's a dog a cat house. house. It's a cat house. Ooh. <laughs> 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 I've got a washer. Personal cat house. 
Yeah, I was wondering if it might be a doghouse, like he gets in trouble, he has to go get in the doghouse. Or... Yeah, you heard like that, that. didn't you? Yeah. Hello, I iPhone. Who's iPhone? <laughs> Hello, iPhone. Uh, Jim, you were asking me something? Can't see you. Okay. Uh, oh, well, hey, just my if, it's not the, uh, if it's not in the actual <laughs> capital of the country, isn't it always uh, called a consulate? Uh, if it's not what? If it's if if it's not in the actual capital of the country it's going to, is, isn't that the, always the consulate? I have absolutely it's no the, idea. It's the, it's the consulate. Okay. Not, not the embassies in Washington. Okay. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> Please. Yeah. Yeah, you just watch. We them. have consulate for Mexico, I believe, here, don't we? I here, so. mm -hmm. I wouldn't be surprised. Not that I know of. So, hello, Jean. Well, she's just starting to drink. iPhone, whoever you are, are you there? Can you like change your name and unmute yourself and show us? Oh no, show us you're not a troll or something. Because I don't know who you are. <laughs> so it's a sentient iPhone. Embassy is in. The Me capital Thomas city of a country. It's yeah. not. It's not somebody trying to infiltrate the trivia thing like Susan did to this. Uh, Might be, which is why they have to turn their. Uh, That's right, Jim. Line. You just heard Otherwise, that, huh? Going to be bumped. Boy, they'd learn so iPhone. much. I can't imagine what somebody would learn. Randy is going to bump iPhone if iPhone's camera doesn't come on or say. Oh, iPhone, iPhone is me, Celia. Oh, she's she's other Karen's friend. Okay. Ah. Yeah. C E L I A. All righty. Thank you for telling us. I'll, I'll fix it. From PG. You know, but that's what Thomas John would say, wouldn't he? <laughs> no. <'Cause> well, <laughs> yeah, are you uh, named after Prince Caspian in the C.S. Lewis books? Yes. Wonderful. <laughs> like, yes. Well, I just thought it was just that Susan liked the Caspian Sea or something. No. He uh he's never read the books. Have you, Caspian? What? No. Nope. Have... <laughs> is is he like refuse? Do you refuse on principle? No, I attempted to read one and I found it completely uninteresting. So, <laughs> was it the magician's nephew? Yes. Try <laughs> the other ones. I agree with you. The first one I tried to read ages and ages ago was the magician's nephew. And I couldn't get through that. And I had to read the others first. Well, Cas the first book you should be reading is Prince Caspian, not The Magician's yeah. Nephew. That's the end. Well, it's sort he, of the end. He should be studying his Bible. And and basically, I found the last battle very disappointing. <laughs> there, Celia. You got your you got it working. Can you hear me now? Yeah, we can hear you. Oh, oh thank goodness! I'm like, who is this person who's just I'm getting so frustrated? I was like, they can't hear me. They can't see me. I am trying to communicate, and I don't know how long the battery on the iPhone's going to work either. But it, it's it, anyway. It was a stupid thing. I forgot the charger for my laptop at work. So, um, and the bat and the battery died. So I thought, oh, well, I'll try annoying. it on my phone and see how it goes. That's annoying. Oh, my gosh. Okay, well, good to hear. Cindy, hi, Cindy. Hi, Susan. Good to see you. Good to see you. Yeah, okay. I sent you a message. Yeah, I got it. I already answered. Yep. All right, great. Okay, fantastic. So um, since we have a new person here, Karen, and uh, now Celia's the old person here, so we can <laughs> tell Karen the rules because, no, I'm, I'm only kidding. Um, so I'm just going to give you the basics. Karen, how comfortable are you using the, um, um, like, Zoom? Do you know how to use it? Like, do you know what breakout rooms are? Sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. And um, leaving the meeting and all that kind of stuff. Okay. So what's going to happen is, <laughs> what's going to happen is I'm going to, it's, I think there's six or seven phases phases to the game the first one this what we're in right now is just the social everybody's going to get her by 6 30 i'm going to put everybody in rooms mo more or less randomly and then what will happen is you will go into your room you'll be given an invite saying go to your room and you will pick out a team name and then after the team name then you'll come back to the main room, which is where we are right now. And you're going to tell me the team name. There's going to be maybe four or five people in your group. Not a lot. You get to know each other. And I mix it up every week. 
then what will happen is you uh, Rob is going to be leading the trivia today. So he's going to be doing all the trivia, which is unusual because we don't usually do just one person, but he's going to be giving the categories. And then we go back into our rooms and we, we discuss the categories, you know, the, I mean, the, the answers. And then we come back and we do that five times. The last one is the bonus. The only thing that usually is pretty set in stone is after the second round, we take a group picture and we take a five minute break and then we come back, we do some kind of announcements. My son brought me a bottle of soju from South Korea. Oh, it's an alcohol, you... rice-based alcohol. Uh oh, gosh, it's going to be an interesting trivia. Sip it, and when is you're it... with people of higher authority, you have to turn away so they can't see you sip it. So how is oh, this, diff how is this different than uh, sake? sake? Somebody must be higher than me. So is this? Uh, wow. So this is, so is it different than? Does it taste different than, than sake, yes, which is rice wine? Yeah. How high can you get? Does, does Hebrew happen. does Hebrew National make a make a, a liquor? Does Hebrew what? National make a liquor, Jake? Hebrew National make a liquor. I don't think so. No, well, you said it was from a higher. They're authority. hot dogs. He said. <laughs> Never mind. Authority. I missed the joke. What was it? Yeah, no, it wasn't much of a joke. Don't worry about it. I, I didn't get it. Don't worry, I didn't get it either. It came from a higher authority. That's all. That's oh, all it came from a higher authority. That's their theme. Got it. Bob, Got it. Robert, yeah, Bob, how do you Robert. how do you know one of my trivia themes is not catchphrases from products? So don't so don't worry about that. <laughs> don't say anything about Sorry, anything. Rob. I just ruined your sojo category. Yeah. <laughs> Robert, you. Robert, Robert, Robert. It's good. It tastes like yeah. apple wine. Do I need to go on a set team, or can I float around between teams? No, you should be on a team. This is your chance I will be to drunk play by the for real. I like I like being on different teams, but all right, I'll be on a set team. Oh, you can't see the <laughs> I like socializing. No, it's over. And 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 so and That'd so my old. my yeah. opinion of how you should do it. Here comes Karen, the other Karen. Susan. Yes, sir. Is that you make all the teams up, but you don't put yourself on a team yet, and then you just ask yeah. somebody at random, "What team should I be on?" You. So that way, <laughs> yes. you know, you can't influence where you go. <laughs> okay. Like ask them for like a number from one to five. Yeah, that, that, that's what I did when I before did. Before people know what team they're on. Yeah, before people know what team they're on. That's correct. Because certainly everybody would want Susan on their team, right? <laughs> yes, of course. Of course. Yes, I want Susan on their team. <laughs> Ron. Thanks, Ron. Nice to have you here, Ron. Um, hey, Jamie. Hi, good morning. How's Tomorrow's everybody? looking good, right? Beautiful, cloudless day. Thank you. Gorgeous. The world Very exists nice. again. I'm so yeah. proud. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let me form these teams here real quick. I want Luann on my team. You can have Piero. What the heck? I heard it's Bill. It's just so weird what's going on. I, I, I know. I know. I Hey, put that. Put Ron on our team. This way, the kids can talk to him. Oh, I might do that. I might just do that. So Troy went. Put the Steiners on their own team. No, not on the own teams. We're not going to be here for the whole time. Who? Why? Where are you going? Sarah might. Not be <laughs> Is Sarah there too? Somewhere? Yeah, she's. That's her foot. You can see her yeah, foot. Held in. Her did you fall down the steps again? Is that why I'm only seeing this foot? No, luckily. I'm good. Hi, Sarah's foot. Oh. <laughs> okay, let me see. Okay, so Rob, you're, Rob, you're not on a team, so I'm going to take you out of there. And uh, Brian, you're probably only going to be here for half game, right? He usually is. And um, let's put... Let's Kevin, put the, mute yourself. Okay, I did it. Uh, Karen, Karen. That's Brandy's other job. No one told her that. Only gonna be here until people have extraneous TV. sound coming through that they probably don't realize. You can mute them. And he's yelling at us. Jamie. Jane is Jane from Oregon. Okay. Jane from California isn't going to be here today, I don't think. Where is Adrian? She's probably going to show up. What was it that Vincent she was saying? She said uh, she's uh, teaching today. So oh. she's got a, she's a, um, she does um, 
remote teaching um, math. Yeah. Uh, too bad. She's um, going to miss my and, Tourette syndrome category. She, um, <laughs> I've already heard that. Sandra's going to show up? I don't know. Here comes Janine. She uh, texted me earlier today. so I should put all the chicken people on one page. That would be really funny. That could be an unfair advantage if there's a chicken category. If there's a chicken category? Okay. You got to spread the chicken wealth out. It'll probably break That's, even. Yeah, we have to have a little chicken at each group, not all in the same. Is that why the What's chickens were crossing the road earlier? I don't, together. I don't, We've done it before, I, haven't we? I have I don't know some chicken all questions. I don't know. All, I didn't know the Greek for chicken. I lost the point there. There we go. Wait, did I miss a category already? Karen. No, Karen, no, other Karen. Didn't. Now we have two Karens, so this would be fun. Yay, Karen Brown. Welcome, first timer. First time, first time. Celia's back too. Welcome back, Celia. Is that like a song? I think I've heard of that before. So are you gonna put are you gonna put the chicken people together? Because I have a question for Bob. I could arrange that, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, Celia, <laughs> or we can, Celia? or we can talk no. chickens right now. No, that's okay. I'll let you guys go into your room and talk chickens. Uh, Lizzie tells Celia, me I think it's going to be popular. Is your name pronounced Celia or Celia? Uh, uh, I, I was, I was born Celia, but I, I'm, I'm okay with Celia. But yeah, Celia. I like that attitude. I get called all kinds of things. Well, you know, one thing I love my name, and one thing I love about it is that it translates so well into so many languages. You know, English, Spanish, French, Italian, Portuguese. I mean, it's it's just it's it's a great it's a great name. But what is it in Mandarin? That's the question. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, what's kind Jimmy. of amusing about it is that um, you know it's such a a. Um, with Japanese you know yeah. around here it's so common for Spanish-speaking people is more common to have the name Celia and of course it as I say it translates to all those romance languages <laughs> well but it actually was named after a great-grandmother who was a Russian Jewish woman and it was her Ellis Island name it was not her birth name uh -huh. oh, oh. Celia, do you know that old song? S -S 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 oh yes, please. No, stop. Really. I'm sure she's heard it a thousand go over times. Fifty years of living with this name and never have heard of that song. <laughs> I love it. Right. <laughs> no, no, no. It's not exactly an admirable character either. If you actually listen to the lyrics, I haven't heard it. I have to know the chorus. <laughs> so many songs, people don't actually actually pay attention to the lyrics. On yeah, we just get done. But Celia is right. The words are terrible. What's Celia, that? I watching my face because the, of the words song. really don't reflect well on Cecilia. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> That's another reason I hate the song. All right. I'm, I'm going to have to pull my song lyrics right. category. Wait, give me a minute. I got to change, <laughs> change her. I stopped washing my face because of that song. <laughs> what? what? But like with right. my okay, name, now I got to listen to it again. Thanks a lot, Jane. <laughs> like with my name, I love how New Yorkers say Come on, my don't name. Know the... How do they, they say, say it? They say Karen. 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 Karen, like ah, Karen. 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 I'm from, I'm from Karen. New York. How do Karen. I say Karen? Karen. And then, I thought and they then just Karen, say hey you. We say Karen, <laughs> but a lot of people here call me Karen. Karen. Uh, I like that too. So, so how do Canadians say it? A? Sorry. A? Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. No, no, no. Karen. This is so Just Karen. Jeez. Hey. <laughs> okay, so I've created the first room. I think. Okay, hold on. First room? Who was it? You've only done Aaron one room. Brown. I had to regroup the whole thing. You didn't she keeps getting distracted. So you yeah, well, because a whole bunch of people room. entered. A bunch of people entered the room, and I said, oh, it's just either just a restart again and, and, and figure it out again. Yeah, it's still amazing that Zoom makes you do that as opposed to just adding people to rooms you started. 
Yeah, as they come in. So I said, oh, it's just so much easier to do it this way. Wow. And then I, and then I've got a couple messages from people that said that they have they're leaving early or something. So I wanted to so I regrouped it. Okay, <laughs> so I'm just counting to make sure I've got this right. Does anybody want to does anyone explain the rules to new folks? No. I think we did. Yeah. Well to Karen? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. Oh Terry's here. Hi, Terry. Somebody else must have let you in. I didn't Yay. Know. you're behind my you're behind my little um the breakout room chart i'm using here so, this is yeah. so oh okay the rules are come up with as many right answers as you can no <laughs> the rules okay, are don't it, don't cheat don't look them up right it's probably a good idea not to and but you can look around the room and you can holler to someone within the sound of your voice to come help Yes. And it's just in, <sighs> and it's just for fun. Yeah. Oh yeah. There's no prizes or anything like that. But don't get competitive. No profit. Oh, they're very competitive. <laughs> but nobody nobody gets butt hurt over losing. Kevin, no. you're Kevin, you look like you're you're actually upright and in a chair. What's going on? He's drinking. <laughs> He's drinking. Not for long. <laughs> He's got a whole family there. There is there's a whole a, crew a lighthouse. There. It's my mother's house on the Cape, and there's a lighthouse on the wall. The nice. wallpaper. And um, my sons are here, my wife's here, and my son's girlfriend is here. Ooh, are they all playing? I don't think so. They're playing video games, and they don't want me to talk to them. Oh, oh. <laughs> so they're not. My son, early, my son they, early yelled, hey, where's my anal lube? So, so you guys uh, they are allowed, allowed to oh, contribute, though. <laughs> yeah. They are allowed to contribute. Yeah. There's something you think they And I'm drinking have? soju from... Uh, South Korea. So you didn't ask answer me. Have you ever ever tasted uh, sake? Sake? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Me no. Oh, okay. So I was wondering if it was similar, but because it's that's rice wine also. Five. I should drink it warm. Five. It's Korean uh, soju. It tastes like it tastes like apple candy. Oh, here's Ben. Okay, Ooh, good. That so, even sake does not taste more. like apple candy. No. That's interesting. Okay. Just, no, it tastes like it's licorice. 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 Oh, God, uh, I want to be on Ben's team. <laughs> <laughs> Do you always say that? A million bucks. Because because we, uh, okay, I think I got uh, this now. I, I am taking writes, no request today. Sorry, Vincent. <laughs> he writes the questions wanted... down and everything. And Brian Kirby's here. Hello, yeah, isn't Brian. that nice? He oh. hasn't been here in a while. Okay, Ben, I'm going to put you on this team, but, but I can't get you on it. Mono and Leonard. Okay, so now what did you guys say? You don't know who's on what team? And I don't, leave don't, early. Okay, Hello. so somebody who's going to be let's met, let's let Karen, the new Karen, pick a number between one and five. Hey Brian, the last five or two conversations I watched was with Great. Melanie. Lines that was really five. good, really good interview. I like it. It could be one, two, three, four, or five. Karen, what? she got to be in the studio. Three. So. Okay, thank Hold you. Up a three. Okay, I will go onto that team, but I should yes. probably just move one person so that we don't have too many on that team. Thank you, Karen. <laughs> you should put her on the same team as Carl. So that way, it kind of levels off. Uh, <laughs> is tonight an all Rob, Rob round? Rob, yeah, it's all Rob. Rob. All right. Okay, so, so Karen, usually all Rob um, all the time. All Rob all the time. So Susan made all the categories for a very long time. What? How long was that, Susan? Oh God, almost About a year. year. A year for a whole year. year. Every Thursday night, <laughs> Susan made four categories and a bonus for a year. Then she invited others to create categories with the same format, keeping the same format to the game. And occasionally there are people who do the whole evening. They do all four categories and a bonus. And tonight it's going to be Rob Palmer. The the people who do the entire categories are the ones with just too much time on their hands. (laughs) <laughs> two, three. I am retired. Okay. So if I'm in this room, that'll be good. One, two, three, four. I'll put Ben in that room. One, two, three, four, five. And oh, Rob. Ah, you're so showing actually, up as in the room, but you're not actually in the room. So that's right. actually, tonight, I counted. Tonight is my one. The, the bonus will be an 80th category. Wow. 80. Wow. Okay. So I need to put somebody in that room that you're in. Hold on just a second. I don't know why I have such a hard time thinking this through. One, two. Okay. And Bob, you only have one account here right now, right? Well, Usually you have two. Bob. 
I only yeah, see my computer is good. Okay, okay, so I only see one. Okay, so sometimes I see and you're at two different rooms and it counts as two different people. Okay, so this is fine. One is got it. Okay, two. Perfect. Three. Hey, one, next, we can all drop off and rejoin right now. Here. <laughs> one, two, three, four, and I will add been there. You should count me as one, half. two, three, four. I th I'll I'll just I'll just I I'll just leave it the way I have it. But then what I'll do is I'll put um because uh, Deborah's going to be here in a few Wait, minutes. And where's Sa where's Saunders? Where's Saunders tonight? Okay, so we're just going to do this. Where's Richard? I think he's going to watch a museum with Jeannie Scott. Uh, I saw him Saturday. Uh, all right, I'm going to take out my Australia category. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> You're so full of shit. Did you take out your chicken category now too? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go to this room. Lucky you guys. Yes, who? <laughs> so this is the room that gets recorded. Oh, that's right, huh? Anyway, I came up with an idea for a name. What do you oh, think? I need that. What's your suggestion? What you got? It says, I swear, Stuart's 18 Roads to Perdition were years in the making. What's that? It's a reference to Stuart Rhodes having been sentenced to 18 years. Oh. In prison. Okay, so let me see if I can put him over here in five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so let's put him over here. Five. Oh, I'm not gonna bother you if I'm here for like an hour and a half. Yeah. Bob, I'm sorry, I'm I'm speaking out loud. I'm 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 trying to make sure I've got this right. Bob's here, right? No, Bob's not here. Which Bob? Chicken Bob? Yeah. The Bobby note. Oh. He's here tonight. No, Bob. is he in this room right now? No. Oh, he's in room one. Never mind. I'm not in room one right now. Okay, Gail. Where am I going to put Gail? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. I can put him in four. One, two, three. I'll put her in four. Okay. All right. Nobody move. <laughs> Did we lose someone? I don't know. Well, and you know what happens is also I'm in room three right now. So the top of the top of the breakout room thing is room three. Yeah, and then yeah, yeah. But there, were six there were six spaces and then Brian Kirby showed up. Oh, so someone must have Brian, Brian, Brian's video is off, but he's still in the room. Oh, oh, so it was the same one. The picture just changed. Yeah. Oh, OK. Got it. <laughs> yeah, don't get scared now. OK, so that's room one. What do you guys want to come up with? I, I, I'm i kind of easy and I like stuff that's um current. So I like that one right there that she was saying, Troy was saying about uh, Stephen Rhodes. Unless you guys have something else. No, nope. I'm okay I, with anything. I'm fine with that. And the joke on I swear is because he's with the Oath Keepers. Uh -huh. <laughs> So he, do we know if he's regretting it? I think I've heard a few things where he's saying he's no, regretting it. No, he's calling himself a political prisoner. And oh. and the judge said, you're not a political prisoner. You have been convicted on your actions as opposed to your thoughts and beliefs, which a political prisoner might be. Let's give him, he's got how many years? 11 to think about it or seven? 18. Oh, I'm getting him confused. I thought it was the other guy you were talking about. Yeah, you're right. Stephen Rhodes is the guy who was running the Oath Keepers with the patch, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I was thinking of that other guy who put his feet up on the desk of Nancy Pelosi. Oh. He got like three or four years. But I think he's like, oh, I can't believe I did it. it was well, so I, I, you know, I, I, don't, I don't put too much stock in any regret, remorse, or conversion that anyone has that follows sentencing. Yeah, he came with I, a... He came with a big, uh, um, the one I'm thinking of, the the one that went to Pelosi's office. He had a yeah. taser, and he also had like a 10-pound um, rod. It's, as best I was telling, uh, could tell, 
Stuart Rhodes didn't even go in the building. He he was like the general on the hill. Um, he was a coward, is what he was from afar. But yep. he was the leader, and you know he was speak uh, pumping it up for weeks before the event, and so they basically got him as the mastermind behind it. Yeah. I okay. yeah. Kevin's he was bringing the lighthouse to the background. But he was also like what it, what it, what I'm trying to say. He's also oh, like the guy who was. I think you know he's cowardly. He didn't want to go in there. Oh hurt. no! Yeah, no. He he forgot what happened, but he was involved in something, and then make it. He he went to Yale Law School to get a degree. Um, to I guess find out what he could do, and get away with. Get that light up on the way out. You can play on the computer if you want in here. I muted him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Ooh, that's scary now. <laughs> creeped out. Oh, look, there's Caspian. Caspian, is Jamie with you? No. no. Not right now. Oh. Okay, so that's, I like that. I swear Stuart's, eight, Stuart's 18 roads to perdition were years in the making. Okay, we're in room three. So I've never actually heard of this person until today. But you oh, know who he is now, God. right? I <laughs> vaguely, yes. He 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 follow Caspian follows some news, but not all news. Mm. He's selective with well, his I don't know if I could have come up with his name, but I've definitely seen well his let's put it this way. Or... If it doesn't hit a newspaper, I will never hear of it. Oh, it's hit many newspapers. Oh, he Stuart yeah. Rhodes and his case has been on all of the news agencies. Is that why you have the popcorn? You're waiting for the Masterson no. trial, huh? I changed the popcorn because of Wikipedia. All the the pro pit bull and anti pit bull people are fighting right now. So I'm busy eating popcorn as I watch them argue it out. I got my popcorn. Yay! I I have a well. I was thinking of it because of the Danny Masterson trial. Can you believe they went away again and there's you know, still not a verdict? So they're they're it's because it's a um what is it Memorial Day weekend or something? Yeah, Memorial Day weekend here. Well, they're gonna they're gonna be here they're tomorrow. Gonna to what they're gonna go tomorrow? Yeah, I thought they were gonna get Friday off. No, but they have Monday and Tuesday off. So if they don't get a verdict today tomorrow, then they don't come back till Wednesday. And Wednesday's the day when they were having that hearing for the um. Uh, where they handed over the documents to Scientology. Oh yeah, okay. That's happening Wednesday. What's it called? Um, like um, it's it, the judge is having the has the has the lawyers in and saying, how in the hell did these documents get leaked to Scientology when you yeah. were supposed to be the only ones who have a copy of this? That's right. So which of you guys leaked it to Scientology? And that's what they're supposed to be doing on Wednesday. It's not a uh, trial or anything. It's like I a. I imagine somebody fessing up to that. Well, the, it, there's going to be a there's going to be a paper trail or, or an email trail. Well, we they'll they'll get to the bottom of it. But that's mm -hmm. supposed to be Wednesday, so I don't know. This could be interesting. Oh, they'll they'll put it off. There better be a there better be a final tomorrow. Damn it! Yeah. Good yeah. morning in the room. Hmm. So you're gonna start the two minute warning in the rooms? I'm not in charge. <laughs> I got my popcorn. I I mean I could do that. All right, let me do it. Okay. Yeah. Got a new person, so maybe she they're you know introducing themselves to her or something. I put her in with, I put her in with um Karen. <laughs> Karen from from normal Karen. I call her normal. Not normal. Karen? It's not normal. <laughs> <laughs> it's very presumptuous of you while they're not usual Karen, not normal. Karen. <laughs> yeah, the usual, oh, usual, usual Karen. <laughs> oh shit, this is being recorded. I apologize, Karen. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there's nothing wrong with not being normal. Yeah, that's true. I'm not normal. So do you guys see that thing on Cash being screen? Does that look like a ghost and it's just perfectly still on the right hand corner? It is weird. Yeah. Um, I mean, what do you think that is? You better call Kenny Biddle and have him look. I was going to say Kenny Biddle now. But it's kind of square. 
I think it's a newspaper over a, a dead Some, body. Something closer to the lens than the current focal distance. That's what I'm thinking, but it's yeah, not moving. But it's exactly in line. Its edge is exactly in line with the bookshelves. Oh, that's true. And how come we're at an angle? Why do I, when I looked at his, I want to tilt, tilt my head to the right. at an angle. You never know. The camera's at an angle. It, it could be we can all do that. Line with the bookshelf if it's vertically oriented. I can't do it. I can't I reach my camera. My laptop. Pick, your camera. pick your whole computer up. Uh, my computer? I, do that. I can't pick up my computer. <laughs> well, the my camera's over the there. Camera. Oh, you can also pick um, on the functions. You can move it. Oh, that's right. I can flip it. Rotate it. Here. I don't Here. know if we can while we're in the breakout room, can we? I don't know. Did you yeah. just walk by with a vacuum cleaner? Yeah. We set it in front Moving of the furniture. So what is that object you guys think? Okie dokie, artichokies. Hi, Susan. I, I don't have any power, so I couldn't go from room. I just Oh, to, that's I, right. Why didn't you I, ask me? Because I couldn't. I could only go to the main room or room five, and you weren't in either place. So You could talk to me. You could text me. I'm no, watching. you can only text people who are either in the main room with you or if you're you in the You could text room. me on Facebook. Well, I don't you can always call the host. Uh, I don't have my phone. Uh -huh. so we, no. So we had Rob the whole time. Uh -huh. We talked him out of all the answers, so yeah, we're good to uh -huh. go. <laughs> I changed cool. three categories. Yeah. Okay, there you go, Rob. You're co-host now. Okay. Yeah, it would have been host. really awkward not to have you a co-host. Rob, okay. uh, call the host some sort of Catholic thing at communion. That's my phone. Mm -hmm. that yeah. There's my laundry. So it was a little confusing, but anyway, no, that's okay. No, laundry is not a category. Did somebody ask me if laundry is a category? Okay. Leftovers? Colors? Rat. Rats no, I bad. know what that first one is. This is this one. Mm, towels, maybe of the hitchhiking variety. Do you guys all know where your towels are? Yep. The laundry. Yeah, right here. Then, Mine's right here. I yep. just put mine in the washing machine just, just to be sure. <laughs> so she know where it is. Do you have to be in a club to know about the towel? Uh, no, yeah, no, talk, no talking about this now. Let's go. What's the <laughs> deal? Hard. Let's get okay. this started. So game number 162, season three. The paper towel. No, we don't count. So room number one, we have Bob, Celia, Janine, Karen, and Karen Brown. Karen squared. Raise the debt ceiling. This room might get furloughed. What a mess that is. My God. Seriously. Can't wait till it's over. We could talk about something we could besides the debt ceiling. Well, I think AmeriCorps has... Okay, Steiner family, all of you, Mono and Cindy. Got Jane. And Jane. Oh, Jane's in there? You yeah. put her in there. Well, I hadn't <laughs> written it. Let me see. She's auditing our group. <laughs> okay, and Jane. We need to be nice to Alan. He's with child, so. group. <laughs> <laughs> child or children? <laughs> So I don't see it in the chat. What is it? What's the grouping? That's funny. You got it, Mono? Uh, the best laid plans of mice and men often go away. No, no, sorry. That I cut and pasted the wrong thing. <laughs> <laughs> he was just letting you know. And that was an example of uh, example of this. Uh, okay, that makes it. Oh, uh, that's a good one. Uh, okay, DeSantis would be ooh. a disaster. Oh, that's good. I like it. I Where'd like you find it. that? Oh, don't tell like Trump. That. He'll start using that and that, that'll work. Yes. <laughs> it's not original. It's not original. Um, That's clever. I haven't heard it yet. Mm -mm. Okay. Like Troy, you want to say ours? Sure. I swear, Stewart's 18 roads to perdition were years in the making. <laughs> that's Troy. She came up with that. I don't know what right. that's about, but okay. I like the accent. Stuart <laughs> Rhodes, everybody know who he is? The Oath Keeper? With the patch? We, we, sh uh, we shouldn't call him Stuart. That's what he wants to be called. Uh, yeah. His first name is actually Elmer. Elmer oh, Stuart. Really? Elmer Rhodes, yeah. Oh, yeah. Really? Really? Yeah, and he you can only use the original name. He should be called Elmer. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah, he must have been That's named such an after insult to all Elmer's everywhere. He must have been named after 
Elmer yeah. Fudd. Bugs yeah, it makes a lot of sense. <laughs> yeah. I thought you meant Martha Stewart, and I was very confused. <laughs> yeah. I had a great uh, He looked very hot uh, on the Sports Illustrated cover. I just have to. <laughs> so does uh, does this Rhodes guy lead people to Rome? No. <laughs> no. He's not one he, of those. He led them to the jail where he's uh, leading okay, people to jail. Salary, all right, Bill Nyden, Brandy, Gail, Leonard, and Terry. Um, I'm going to put up the name in a second, but let me give you a little background to make it make sense. That's that is, if you haven't watched Jeopardy Masters, this won't make as much sense. But on Jeopardy Masters, a whole bunch of information was given, and the answer was Santos. And the host of the program said, this is the first time I've said Santos is correct. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one that is funny so our team name is if santos is the answer you were asking the wrong question that's cute that's, that's i like cute. that okay Bear, ben carolyn jamie jim and vincent okay you want to say it since you came up with it i can I'll post say it. it but you can post it okay yeah, i post it being special gets you 18 years mm. <laughs> that's elmer that's yep. Elmer. Good old Elmer Fudd. Oh my gosh. Okay, so here we are. Nearing the end of year three, believe it or not. I think we have two more weeks and then we are in our fourth year of this game that started out of just who knows why and just barely was going to only make one or two games. Okay, game number 162, season three. On Towel Day, May 25th, 2023, we have Alexa, raise the debt ceiling. Maybe. Wait and hear if any of your, your lessons <laughs> do anything. DeSantis would be a disaster versus I swear roads 18. Wait, I swear Stewart's 18 roads to perdition were years in the making versus if Santos is the answer, you were asking the wrong question versus being special gets you 18 years. I love current topics and these things. It's just so much fun. It just kind of dates it for the moment. I'm going to look back on some of these old team names that we thought were before we knew there was going to be all this other stuff that happened to us, like an insurrection and so on. All right. We've been playing longer than that. Can you believe it? So tonight it's all Rob, all Rob Palmer, all night. In, in, all Rob all the time, huh? All Rob all the time. So this should be interesting. Five time travel category, Susan. <laughs> 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 that one was about Wordle. Right. <laughs> wordle and time travel. Are we yeah, ready? I used or... the word Wordle today at a mm. in a video that I put up on on YouTube actually last night. I used Did your word. tongue burst and, into and flames? Your equipment like didn't burst into flames. Yeah. No. Mm -mm. Wow. Okay. All, All right. So, are, are we Robert? starting? Yeah. yeah. Go. Okay. So yes, as Susan mentioned, today is in fact Towel Day. So let's okay. celebrate. That is the first category. And if you don't know what that means, you might be in trouble. Uh-oh. <laughs> Question number one. Dun, dun, dun. Towel Day is celebrated every year on this day, May 25th, as a tribute to the author Douglas Adams by his fans. In what year did the tradition begin? I'll give you plus or minus one on that. No, Rob, <laughs> didn't you, weren't you the person who said that we should be, you should be putting it up before? I did. Oh, did Janine say? I did. You did not. not. You were you halfway did. through it before you posted it. <laughs> oh, they're going to be stickling. Oh, oh Janine. <laughs> I'm telling okay, you. Janine. Let's go to the video. Rob, you of course being I don't have Rob to stick up for me on this one. <laughs> that is true. I, I have to speak up for myself. So how about this? I post it and you read them out loud, Janine. <laughs> I can't <laughs> read it. Oh, okay. Number two. At what age did Douglas Adams die? Hint, it was not 42. And I'm going to give you plus or minus two. Not plus or minus 42, right? <laughs> Number three. <laughs> in 2012 or 2012, I don't know how Leonard wants it said, the Huffington Post listed Towel Day as one of 10 cult blank blank. Fill in the two words. I'm sorry, someone sneezed. Oh, I'm sorry, you. someone sneezed. <laughs> <laughs> now, now I'm going to get a, a computer virus. 
Oh, yeah. Who's, yeah. Wait, who's supposed to be? Uh, who's supposed to have a muted people? You talk to Brandy about that. Brandy. I don't know how it doesn't have anything that says mute all. Participants, are you on? Are you on a PC? Yeah. Yeah. Well, a laptop. Participants on the bottom. Here comes Romero. Romero. But it doesn't have that. What? The does, problem does Brand, is that we Brandy? have all the it. powers like we usually have. Because my I don't have things on my screen like I found it. Breakout. <laughs> okay. It was muted us yourself. right in mid sentence. That's fine. Just be aware you're not <laughs> muted. It doesn't do the person who did it, Brandy, just so you don't go off and say something you don't want hurt. Not that you're going to, but in case. We're recording, so that should be very funny. Question number four. The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy explains that a towel is about the most massively useful thing an interstellar hitchhiker can have. Which of the following is not mentioned in that book as an important use for a towel? In the book. And right. you can wrap it around you for warmth. You can lie on it. You can sleep under it. You can make a hammock out of it. You can use it as a sail. You can use it in hand-to-hand -hand combat. You can wrap it around your head to ward off noxious fumes. You can wave it in emergencies. You can dry yourself with it. Which one of those did I make up? I have faith in Romero. I'll put I'll put these in for you guys right now. What'd you say, Susan? I didn't hear that. I'm gonna give the questions, the first few questions you just asked to Faith and Romero because, because they don't see them and once they've entered the room. Okay. So you've got them now. Okay. Number five. This is rather long, so I'm gonna put the multiple choice as a separate post. Number five, the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy explains that. More importantly, a towel has immense psychological value. For some reason, if a strag, meaning a non-hitchhiker, discovers that a hitchhiker has a towel with him, he will automatically assume he is also in possession of a, and it's a long list of items, which I'm going to give you next. The strag will then happily lend the hitchhiker any of these or a dozen other items that the hitchhiker might accidentally have lost. What the strag will think is that any man who can hitch the length and breadth of the galaxy, rough it, slum it, struggle against terrible odds, win through and still knows where his towel is, is a man clearly to be reckoned with. So, which one of these important items is not included in the list? You haven't posted them, the answers. That's correct, I haven't yet. About to do that now. You guys are going to be so much fun tonight. Jeez. <laughs> Hello, why, is Ke why is Kevin Hello, entering Hello, the waiting room? Robin. What happened to Kevin? His, right. his computer restarts at this time. So here's the answers. A toothbrush, reading glasses, face flannel. I don't even know what that is. Soap, a tin of biscuits, a flask, a compass, a map, a bowl of string, gnat spray, wet weather gear, or a space suit. Which of those is of my own divination and not from Douglas Adams? <laughs> a face flannel is a washcloth. Thank you. Does everybody know that? Was it just not me, or is this not an American thing? You happen to know it. I don't know what it was. All right, number six. Douglas Never heard Adams. that phrase. Never heard that it's, phrase. I think it's an old fogey thing. <laughs> <laughs> Douglas Adams had brief appearances in two episodes of the fourth season of Monty Python's Flying Circus. Give the episode number of his first appearance plus or minus five. Oh no. Number seven. Is this any indication of what the future categories are going to be like? They're all, they're all different. With specificity? <laughs> oh, my God. In the mid-1970s, Adam's career stalled. To make ends meet, he took a series of jobs. According to Wikipedia, which of these was not one of them and something I made up? Hospital porter, barn builder, short order cook, chicken shed cleaner, or bodyguard? Which did Douglas Adams not do, according to Wikipedia? There's your chickens. There's your chickens. Number eight. How did Adams come up with the title for the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy? He had a copy of the Hitchhiker's Guide to Europe, and it occurred to him that somebody should write a Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. A colleague suggested the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy after reading a draft of his untitled work, or a colleague suggested that name after reading a draft of his work titled Mind Your Towel, or over Adams' objection, his editor renamed his work that. Number nine, 
Adams wrote a novel published in 87, which was described by him as a kind of ghost horror detective time travel romantic comedy epic, which Susan would love, mainly concerned with mud music and quantum mechanics. Name this book. Number 10, last question. The author used Adam's work to exemplify arguments from a non-belief in his own 2006 book. He dedicated that book to Adams, whom he jokingly called possibly my only convert to atheism. Upon Adam's death, he wrote that science has lost a friend, literature has lost a luminary, the mountain gorilla and the black rhino have lost a gallant defender. Name the author I'm talking about. And that is it. Don't panic. Go to your rooms. Oh, that's so cute. Don't panic. He said don't panic. It's such a cute reference. Okay, so I'm going to add, I have a few people. I'll be in my room in a minute, but I've got to add some people to some rooms that just joined us. So, Romero, don't forget to put Faith in there. Um, you're going to be in five. I'm Rob, in three. You're going to go to three. Kevin, you go to three. 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 Deborah, you're going to go to four. And I think I got everybody. <laughs> Susan will know all these. Well, Ca Caspian's here too. So between the two of us, Caspian we'll will know all these. Okay. Do you want to be the scribe? Yeah, or... sure. Okay, so. I know exactly one of these. Uh, which one do you know? <laughs> okay, so it is so he died in two thousand and well okay, it says in question three it says in two thousand twelve. So he just died before two thousand twelve. Anybody have an idea when he died? Was he it he was like forty nine or fifty? Also oh, I am missing uh is this is this round one? Yeah. Okay. I'm missing questions one through five. So Okay, here we go. Okay, screen I'll share for you right now. Woot. Oh yeah, there's well I'll give them to you too. In what year? Did... Okay, so they're coming to you again, Robin, just Yeah, yeah. Oh thank you. Um I gotta think about this a second. I think he was I think he was dead before 2010. Okay, there's five, so that should be good. Are we skipping he around? He starting was, at the beginning. He Where was dead already when I read The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, which seems like it must be about 10 years ago ish. Which would be. He was, he was pretty young. He was like 49 or 50 when he died. Yeah. So, yeah, I think he was in his 40s. So we're we working on a question here or. Just yeah, the first one. Susan, because, no, the first one is what what year was the first year of Taldo? Right, but we need to know what year he died because it was made as a tribute to him as a, in his death. It was not made hmm. before that, so it was after he Taldo died. They did Taldo didn't exist before he died. No, so that's it, ah. it was, so that was the first year they celebrated it. Is he died, and then they the the they picked the day. I they see. said, oh, that's a, um, it's made in the same, like if he died in March, they said, oh, we need to celebrate something. So it was like May, May 25th is the closest day we'll be able to organize something. So that's why I'm focusing on, I, okay. sorry, I thought you guys all knew what I was trying to well, do. Do you know no, what no. year he was born in? No. Then what good does it know? What, what, then what good does it know what age he died at to help number one? No, I'm trying to figure out. I wasn't trying to figure out what age he was at when he died, I, even though that's question two. But I'm saying oh, question one is what year did he die? Uh, okay, so if Robin said she watched it in 2013. Hmm? Go with 2013. Well, no, he, because in 2012, they no, said that it was a cult. So it's got to be before 2012. I think it's like 2009 or 2008. Oh, or, or yeah. The year obviously. he died? Yes. Oh no, it's before that. It's like 2000, 2001. It wasn't that early. Okay, Did so you guys? Sure, it was. I don't think so. I don't think it was that early. I think it was like 2008 or 9. Caspian, you were in 
I, I wouldn't still, remember. You sure you don't have Hitchens confused with Adams? Adams has been dead a while. I wouldn't have any clue about Hitchens. Hitchens died in 2011, I think. Um, uh, Christopher Hitchens? He yeah, was at one of our TAMs. So he was alive yeah, in... Adam, Adam, he's been dead a couple decades. No. I, I'm going to say 2000, Aaron. Six or seven. Um, is that the, is that the answer? No, I'm just saying that's what I think he what year it was. It was right around there. And Let's he put was, 2007, and at, that's working title for number one, and move on and come back to it. Except the one under number two. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Okay. So he was 40. He was like 49 or 50, I think. Yeah. yeah but I know it wasn't 50. I think it was in the 40s. So say well, 48. 48 to give you a plus or minus two. There you go. You're 48. 48. Okay. Is one of the top 10 pulled nerd holidays, probably. Book clubs, maybe? <laughs> hmm? Could it be book clubs? Try just no. going with cult holiday. Because it is a nerd it's two holiday. Words. Two words. It's two words. It doesn't the have top to be 10. nerd holiday. It's a cult holiday. But it says top 10 cult blank blank. Fill in the two words. It, it also would appear that both oh, of the two cult, words, each of the two uh, words has four letters because that's usually uh, how they. I don't think. I think those are just generic dashes in this case. How about nerd days? <laughs> Top 10 cult nerd days. I don't words. like the use of the word nerd in this context because like cult, book club. by definition is nerdy. I like book club. It's not a book. Club. Oh. Pal Day is not a book club. I'm saying nerd days. But if you guys have something else, I don't know. let's put nerd days for working title. Nerd days. And if it's four words and four, four and four also. What about something like um classic days for one of ten cult classic holidays? I like that better than nerd days, to be honest. <laughs> okay, so question four. <clears throat> oh, God, the long one. Um, I'd go with dry yourself. Yeah. That's what uh, I, no, I, think, I thought it was use it as a sale. Uh, well, I don't know. Let me think. Hammock. I don't, re I don't remember hammock being one of the things. I don't either, but I do know that G's correct. H is correct. F is correct. A is, I think, correct. B is correct. C is probably correct. You know, the hammock one might be it because I, I, I think I don't remember hammock. I think it's hammock and B and C pretty much obliviate the need of D anyway. If you can lie on it and sleep under it, why would you bother even making a hammock out of it? Most it's houses hammock. for a hammock. Yeah, it's probably a hammock. But that's really, I, I, I know dry yourself was one of them. Wave of emergencies was one. Noxious fumes. I think everything else. The only thing I'm not a, if, if I had to pick something other than a hammock, I'd say the sail. But I think it's hammock. Yeah, I, I'm going to agree. Then they attack or any of the uh, these are it doesn't matter. Oh, well, that's a very wordy one. So which is important items not included in Um I'm trying to read this again. For some reason, is that all of them or is there one more? Uh, there's probably one more. I'm trying to figure out how do I get rid of that stupid. Okay. Oh, there we go. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, we know it's not face face flannel that he made up because he didn't know what that was. So, 
my guess on this one is reading glasses. What do you think of gnat spray? I don't think it's that. That seems familiar. Um, a map? No, it says a assume that he's also in possession of a map. I would expect a hitchhiker to have all those things, except you're right. I think reading glasses. Yeah, reading like glasses is not really fit thematically with the Okay, so yeah, that, that sounds okay. Yeah. Why would a hitch why would a hitchhiker have a spacesuit? But a galaxy hitchhiker would. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so, so six. Wow. I don't know this one. Number four. I have no well, idea. Well, it's plus or minus five, so we want to say at least five. Okay. If not six. Yeah. Oh, Kyle's sure. here. Six. Give the episode number of his first appearance. Episode number in that season or episode number uh, in terms of the overall series? His first appearance, whenever it was. So it's in the fourth series. Fourth season, it must be. But I, I don't think he's asking what number in the season. I'm thinking what number in the entire show that happened to occur in the fourth series, but numbered for one from the very big first episode in the first series on that's a that's sucky probably, question and that's why there's plus or minus five because it's a it's a bigger number than just a single season's worth of shows yeah no idea and and i have no idea other than my guess was 42 is a is a yeah go with 42 number. <laughs> yeah 42 is probably the best because how else would we know I, I've watched lots of Monty Python, but I have no idea what order I've watched. I have no idea how many season, uh, episodes are in a season either. Right, same here. It could be 10, it could be 36. I don't know. Okay, so number seven. Well, wait a minute. What is our answer? 40, 42. The answer is always 42. <laughs> I don't think I what? like that answer. Not do. Um. A um, I never thought of him as a bodybuilder, like a like a bodyguard, but I guess he could have been. Question seven. Was he a big guy? Um, not really, I don't think. Was he, he died, he died working out. He was on a treadmill when he died. Huh. Isn't that sad? Had a heart attack. Yeah. That's why I know he was in his 40s and not his 50s. Um I would say my guess is this one. Barn builder? Wasn't he English? Yeah. They have barns. They don't build barns in England. They have barns. <laughs> they, have barns. they have barns. Which one sounds like something Rob would have made up? Short order cook. Yeah, short order cook. Really? Oh. It's too simple of a job that anybody could do. This guy had to have. I doubt something. hospital porter is more of a word from Britain, right? No, they have those here. Yeah. Do we call them porters in hospitals? Don't we call not them so hospital porters? Not so much anymore. It's an older. They're term, in the I porters think. union. <laughs> um, well, short order cook. That's my guess. I don't really know. Chicken shed cleaner. Do you think he might have put that in there because we're always talking about chickens? Maybe put that in there because he wanted to hear you say it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Um, uh, bodyguard? Doesn't that sound I'm like okay with made up? You guys that, 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 one, I, that one seems too weird for him to have made up. Bodyguard? Yeah. I buy it because that's, I mean. Because I wouldn't have thought of it. It's just too out of left field for if I if I were making stuff up, I would not have made right. that up. But do you think he would have made up short order cook? A very common job. A lot of people you, you do. Pick something, you'd pick something to fool people into thinking it's plausible. You know he just Googled occupation. So, so here's the thing. <laughs> to be a hospital porter, to be a chicken shed cleaner takes no knowledge or skill 
a barn builder depends what you do if you're just doing what someone tells you to do you don't need any skill but a short order cook you have to have some knowledge of how to cook well that's, that's even true. working at mcdonald's though no it's not, yeah, a that's not McDonald's is a short order cook. you know my husband went around the world when he was 19 and he did jobs like hospital orderly dishwasher not short order cook and uh yep. and road construction and that's why I like shorter. Quotes. Okay, that's fine. That's, that's not the entry level position in, in the diner. Exactly. Okay, question. Question. It's punch boss eight. job. I think it's I think it's a, but I'm. That's 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 what I said. I'm not. I wouldn't stake my. Caspian, you said you had one what answer for sure. Which one was it? I actually didn't have one answer for sure, and that was the one about the holiday. Um. Uh, I think I. Have I know one. none of the rest of these at all. I think I know the last one. Okay. So do we agree well, on question it. eight that it's it's probably A? That's, that was my guess, I but I have no idea. I think it's A. a. Was my guess. I think that's what I heard. Or is, like I've that. heard that before. I don't know if that was straight from the horse's mouth or not. Um, I would I think eight A. Yeah. That's yeah. what we got. Yep. Yeah. Okay, eight, number nine. nine. Those were really those were really popular travel books back then. Does was it nine? Know, anyone else know nine or should I just say it? Okay, I think okay, it's that. It. Um, it. Wait, wait, let me see if I know it. Is, is it the detective, somebody something detective? You're you're on the right track. Um, I never read it. I might own a copy. I'm trying to look and see if it's seen in the shop. Somebody, somebody detective agency? Dirk Gently's Holistic Detective Agency. <sighs> Thank you. Okay, I've never yeah. read it. You want to say that slowly okay. so I can type it? Or put it in the chat. Uh, sure. The rest of the people don't get the chat, do they? No, no. they can't see it. No, Only not, can. not here. So put the wrong answer. So there was the my chat. dinner, popcorn and, and <laughs> diet, Dr. Pepper. I eat so well here. Catnip corners. Amount of milk duds. How does that look before I type in left handed? Oh, that's mm -hmm. supposed to be an L, not a semicolon. Was author oh. used? Oh, He's a hoistic. <laughs> that's probably a thing. <laughs> <laughs> Brian thinks he knows ten. I'll bet you he does. So I, okay, I gotta read it. I think I think it was the God Delusion, wasn't it? Was yeah, it was dedicated. Dawkins. Dawkins was friends with him because. Yep. Uh, Adam stood up at his Christmas lecture yeah. as a participant to Lala Ward. Oh, there, there. But that yeah, also I... means he died before 2006. Mm. Oh, good point. That's what you call logic. I figured it out. Very good. Whom he jokingly called possibly my only convert to atheism. So the author is Richard Dawkins. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. yeah. Okay, so what did we put for the year the guy died? 2007? Well, well, no, so that it's got to be before that. that. Let's no, move that was back the year that the tradition began in 2007. Well, we are we are assuming the tradition began the year he died. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Oh, or the year that. after he died. Or so go to 2005. Sure. Yeah, make 2005. 2005. I still 2005, think it's 2000 like 2001. Well, let's put 2001 then. Then that gives us two years either side no because that gives us 2000 or 2002 oh plus or minus one. Oh, yeah it gives us from 2000 to 2002 if we get but 2003 2005 is better don't you think if he 2003 died in 2003 would cover from 2001 to 2000 no it's plus or minus one plus or minus one. Oh no he doesn't he didn't die in 2006 but he probably died in 2005 if, I, if I dawkins was writing the god delusion with if, 2004, you'll have three, four, and five covered. I wouldn't go any higher than 2002, but okay. If, so if, then put 2002. If Dawkins, okay, if Dawkins wrote the God 2001, Delusion in then, 2006, you're right. You're right. Go 2002, put 2001. Listen, you guys, if he was writing the God Delusion in 2006, the acknowledgments is one of the last things you do. So it would have been a recent death. So probably 2004 or 2005. Well, 
I don't I don't agree with that logic necessarily. Yeah, it doesn't have to be a. You could acknowledge your dad. People died. people dedicate books to their mother who passed away thirty years ago. But it was a recent death. And well, Dawkins has written many books. That, that it was a recent death. Well, Dawkins has written many books, and yeah. he waited until he wrote the God Delusion before he acknowledged his friend. But that's because it's very relevant to his friendship with her. Yeah, because Douglas Adams was a well-known atheist. So. Okay, and so put 2002, and so we're all happy-ish. Wait, that's going to make us all happy? Ish. <laughs> I feel so much better now. Oh, I'm happy. <laughs> they should put that in a bottle and hand it out at pharmacies. Ten calls. Now we have our own cure-all. Okay, and number three. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh when ten cult. ten cult nerd days. We should ask Rob if those numbers dashes equal the letters. He already answered ones. that. He said no. Oh, okay. Those he came on and did a dash. chat. In that case, he should use one fill in the blank and underscore. Is that the only one we don't dash. have an answer to? I don't know. You got yeah. 120 seconds to figure it out. He should use one underscore and not a dash. Yeah. I'm going to get on him on that one. <laughs> he would do it to me. <laughs> I guess I would go with a classic, cult classic. Holiday? Yeah. I bet you it's. I bet you it's nerd holidays. You think holidays or traditions? But cult nerds. I mean, yeah, that's kind holidays. of. Redundant. Yeah, I would say nerd cult if you were going to put nerd in it. Yeah. That's okay. What the blanks are. So go with classic nerd. holidays. Then. Cult classic traditions, cult classic holidays. It bugs me that we have to be exact. I'm sure we have to be exact. I guess I'd go with classic traditions, even though it's a little early to name something a tradition, but maybe. You guys get 60 seconds to figure it out. It's just weird. It's just a weird thing. and It makes it sound like it's a common phrase, but I don't know that this is a common phrase. That's the problem. Well, someone has a list of the top 10 cult blank blanks, and this was one that was added to it. Yeah, the Huffington Post. He's quoting the Huffington Post. Okay. Right. Top ten, one of the 10 cult is one of 10 cult. Classic. 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 It could, it, could be it could be popular and cult popular no not popular i already said that top okay, okay. go with classic that traditions because hell if i know okay not, classic but, traditions. i don't like traditions i like holidays better okay holidays then holidays is fine with me too classic holidays okay I still I think think it's it's i'm just gonna go on record and say i still think the word nerd is in there just just saying you should give us two two guesses I'll, for I'll, that i'll bet you nerd's not in there we okay. want to bet. Ah. Hi, Kyle. I can do it, Mono. I, I've Good got evening. the answers here. That was that was contentious, Rob. Really? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Welcome, Ramiro. How come you didn't come to our room, Rob? Because I can watch that right. later, right? That's Wait, who's Ibrig? Who's yeah, joining? but we might have questions. Oh, I think it's Lee. Lee said he had a. I wonder if that's Lee. He's got some weird names on your zooms. He said we'll he was. Jimmy, I asked him if he was going to show up, and he said he was here for the llama. He had a llama association meeting, as one does. Oh, who doesn't? Is it Dalai Lama? Now, be careful what you say, because I'm here. Yeah, I just said. Yeah, it is Lee. I said you had a. I said you were. You're late yeah. because you had a llama association meeting. As yeah. one does on the on the board of directors, Lama yeah. Association of North America. You know, you know we hold ours on Monday. So I don't know. <laughs> don't let the yeah. power go to your head. So there's the one L Lama. He's a priest. There's the two L Lama. He's a beast. And the little bit of you know, pink pajama. There isn't any three L Lama. <laughs> yeah, I, I like the other one. The uh, one L Lama is a priest. The two L Lama is a beast. A beast. The three L, the three L Lama is a big fire in Boston. 
Yeah. Okay, so Rob just finished doing the, the category. He's about to read the answers to the I first category, it. and we were all arguing in our room. Interesting. We didn't make any friends. Nobody left not happy with each other. Okay, well, Adrian's here. Woohoo! Where? Oh, there she is. She's just joining. Lee, do you know how to change your name on Zoom? Oh, he doesn't know how to change his. No, I'm wondering where my camera went. Um, um, let me change your go. names. There we go. There, nope, there, that's there. It. Okay, there he is. Okay. I was going to say, Lee, sometimes our cameras know better than us. Hi, Adrian. <laughs> well, if you, Hi, Adrian. If you look real closely, I can show you my. Uh, yeah. You missed, oh, you missed the first category, Facebook. Adrian. Yeah. Mathematical constants. Too bad. <laughs> <laughs> Lee, you missed it. It was all on llamas, the whole category. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. Okay, okay so Rob. answers, answers. So okay. this was, uh, Adrian, today is Towel Day. So this was a celebration of Towel Day. I brought my towel. And as did I. Um, so the first question was Towel Day celebrated every year on May 25th. Today, as a tribute to Douglas Adams uh, by his fans, when did this begin? I'll give you a plus or minus one. It started in 2001. Yes. Oh, so oh, 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 I'm glad I didn't bet you. All y'all need to benefit from who I was dating when. Thank you very much. I know. I, <laughs> Again? I just, you were in our room, so we didn't get That's the benefit. Amazing. Okay. Okay, Carl. All right. you Number win. two. See, that, that was a two, that was a two year margin of error, wasn't it? One, one plus or minus one, 2000 oh, to 2002, yeah. I will Either think. way. At what age did Douglas Adams die? The poor guy died at 49 years old. Oh, 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 do we get exact? I think we did. Plus or minus two, I gave you. Do we have that extra two years that we didn't use on the first question? <laughs> uh, no. We went with 2002. In the first fine, did we go with 2002, Rob? Yeah. Um, Carl? Yeah. Oh, but I really thought it was 2006 or something. Number three. 2005. Uh, so the, I don't know if anyone got this. The Huffington Post listed Towel Day as one of 10 cult literary traditions. Hey. Oh, 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 that sucks. That's, we got Ew. literary holiday. Oh, that sucks. Mm -hmm. Why did you we make us look at exact? Half, half a point. Did, did, wait, did somebody get it? Yeah. Yes. Uh, okay, you got it exact. Very good. So no half no points. No half points? No, they got it exactly. Very good. Mm, All right. Okay. This is the uh, towel is the most massively useful thing. And Douglas Adams listed a bazillion things that you could do with a towel. And I made one extra up, which was maybe as weird as his. You can make a hammock out of it is mine. Yeah. Oh, yes. oh, I'm sure that was in there. Good job. <laughs> make a hammock for a baby. No, we got oh, a or It's a big towel. You're imagining a tiny little towel. It could be a big towel. Number well, what five. What towels are you imagining? Number five. All right, so number five is an extension of this. This is items that a hitchhiker would be assumed to be carrying. Which of those weird list of items did I make up? I made up the one that probably would be obvious, reading glasses. Yay! Oh. Aaron, you, got, you said we got it. We get it? Yeah. We got yeah. it. Yeah. Both of them. Good job on four, guys. I was wrong. All right, number six. So uh, what was the... Uh, episode number of his first appearance in the series of Monty Python Flying Circus. So this is very odd, and I heard someone say, it. well, it can't be 42 because he wrote that after. And that is fact, that second part is true. But it was, in fact, number 42, if Wikipedia hey. is correct. Hey. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. We, go. we said, if you, if you when in doubt, and there's a number, <laughs> but 42. That's what I yeah, expected. That's what we did. did. <laughs> Yeah, we got a point. Numbered at 42, regardless of the actual number of episodes. That's, <laughs> That's right. interesting. I wonder if he picked it. Uh, it. That could have been the inspiration of it. Yeah, That's he just guessed possible. a number. Oh, here comes Brian. Or, I, 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 choke, I, I choke on saying this. Wikipedia could be wrong because I looked it up after I heard someone say that. There is no citation on it, Susan. Ooh. No one needs to check oh. it out. I heard, some, I, I heard that Douglas Adams said that... Uh, uh, when he was writing the book, he asked his kids, "Think of a, think of the silliest number you can, you can." Was, was that 42. a silly number? Yeah. Oh, it, it always think. bothered me that it was so easily divisible by two, mm. and an even number. It just, I could never. Yeah. Yeah. I wanted it to be a prime number. Yeah. Yeah, forty-one. Yeah, I wanted a prime number too. I like that it's silly. Okay. Saunders so is here. 
Wikipedia does list his jobs. And this one I actually verified before I put the list down. It oh, wasn't he's going to be so pissed off. I know. Saunders, we just did towel day questions. Better to be pissed off than Sorry pissed about. on. Sorry, Richard. <laughs> you missed towel day. You missed it, dude. Where's your towel? All right, number seven. Uh, in 1970, Adam's career stalled. He had to make ends meet. He had a lot of odd jobs. According to Wikipedia, there was a whole list. Which one did I add to the list? <laughs> And it's not real. He actually did shoot chicken shed cleaning and uh, bodyguard and barn builder and hospital porter. He was not a short order cook. Oh, you got it. Oh, My team figured okay. it out, but I was not so sure about that. But a barn builder is highly skilled. Uh, okay. yeah. Well, I guess he was. And which part uh, you're doing? He might have been helping somebody. He might, right. he might have been a, a good barn builder. Is highly skilled. He might have just <laughs> yeah, yeah. ripped up the wall. <laughs> His barns are all falling over now. <laughs> number eight. Is that where I'm up to, I'm up to number eight? Yes. Uh, so where did the name come from? I heard people really arguing about this and other things. So uh, it is, in fact, that he... Uh, wait, let me, let me share my screen here. Let's see. Do I have it up here? I don't have it up here. Never mind. I had it and I lost it. Actually, there is a, even a Wikipedia article for The Hitchhiker's Guide to Europe, and that's how it came about. Yay! Uh, Yay, right. Bob! I Yay, thought team. I heard that. Yeah. Good job. Number nine. And by the way, it was written by an apparently an Australian expat living in the UK. Yeah. Um, number nine. I am surprised how many people got this because I have never heard of this book, The Dirk I've Denton never read Realistic it. Detective Agency. I have it on my shelf. I've never Yay, read it. Janine and Bob. I thought is that would Yay, be a hard game. one. Good job. Is it good? Is it good, guys? It is. I like it. I like the yeah. long dark program. Tea time the at the store program. better, but I yeah, like the long show. Tea time is well, we'll have a book club next. I'll start a book club yeah. for things like this. We'll we'll and take it, Rob, because that's one of the few questions we actually got right. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> we'll take it. Yeah. All right, and to link it back to the first thing when someone said, uh, the well-known atheist, uh, it is Richard Dawkins. Brian Kirby's like, yeah. Uh, last three in, in The God Delusion, as a matter of fact. Those That's last three questions ruined our score. All right, so All very right, good. I'm putting no, that, that's where we got our points. Answers are exactly. in the chat. <laughs> and Rob's cat is trying to let us know. Oh, it's Dirk, D-I-O. Oh, yeah, you did. Okay, I got it. Yeah. I read the God Delusion. Well done, Rob. Yeah. I've yes. never read it, but I have a copy of it. Well, oh, God I Delusion. It. It's, it's a good book. It's I a good book. I, it's actually pretty good. Yeah. I, prob I probably borrowed it at some time, but uh, but I do, I do remember reading it. <laughs> yeah. I've never really been interested in atheist books. I've got bunches of them, but I don't think I've ever but read them. That one's one. worth reading. I'm not interested yeah. in those either, but that one's worth reading. Yeah, I, I can't tell it, you it how many, moves along. You, how many people really? who I talk yeah. to about leaving their religion or with one foot out the door mention reading that book. as What is influence. it called? Please state the title. The God Delusion. The God Delusion. Thank you, Richard famous. Dawkins. Yeah, yeah. Actually, the uh, the CFI, Richard Dawkins uh, uh, Organization Foundation, is uh, made a grant to translate it into every language speaking in a Muslim spoken in a Muslim majority country, and to download it for wow. free from the internet. Yeah, and it's been downloaded for free zillions of times in in, in uh, languages that are in the Arab. Uh, Muslim countries. It's it's actually yeah. um, several of his books, not just the God. Yeah, Jesus. great. Very interesting. And Karen, if you want to read it, you can borrow my copy anytime. Oh, good, a good excuse to see Robin, and welcome back. I loved your trip All vicariously. Right. I enjoyed. Oh it. yeah, Thank I watched you. that too. We had so much fun, and the wallet was on Ripple Fire the whole time. Oh, I <laughs> bet. <laughs> New York. Oh, she so took expensive. out her credit card to go do something. It was like, but at least she remembered to take her credit card. Oh, yeah. ooh, I remember that. She didn't have it at Cycon. I figured because Corey was along, you had your credit card. But yes, I call him money bags. I, I, I don't. I didn't pay for anything. For those who don't know, she just came back from watching her daughter graduate from college in New York. Gee, there was something Columbia just always University. in my cat's pocket. And you didn't okay, say how so let's do scores. All right, so now, who is not on a score uh, team? Adrian, Saunders, Lee. So I'm going to have to figure out how I'm going to put them on teams. So we'll, 
I guess it depends what the score is this round, right? Well, if there's three, okay, well, we'll see. All right, so team number one, Alexa, raise the debt ceiling. Six. Team number two, DeSantis would be a disaster. That would be four. Okay. I swear, Stuart, eight. I swear, Stuart. I swear, (laughs) Stuart's 18 roads to perdition were years in the making. That's right. Fumbling over. Fumbling over. If Santos is the answer, you're asking the wrong question. Eight. Being special gets you 18 years. Four. Okay, so we have. Two was teams. the Carl's team the one with eight? No, it was. Susan's nine. team was the one that nine. got nine. No. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, that's funny. But we did argue quite a bit. So who knows? Oh, okay. Yeah. So, <laughs> all right. Um, did you successfully argue against Susan's incorrect answers? Yes. <laughs> all right. Good job. <laughs> At least one of them. Okay. So we've got. Uh, so it was Carl's team. <laughs> Yeah, okay, so I need to put, I'm going to put, okay, I'm going to do it this way. I'm just going to do it this way. I've got Lee, I've got Adrian, and I've got Saunders. Don't forget, I'll need to be replaced. early? That's useful information. Yeah, yeah Brian's, well, Brian's raising his hand. We Who? get them both. Carolyn's raising her hand. Terry's raising her hand. Mono's raising her hand. Using his hand. Okay. Yeah, well, we, we kind of spread out. So maybe I should. Well, maybe I should. Leave. We got Vincent and Carolyn leaving early. So okay. We'll have so a couple of names. we'll oh, take yeah. Adrian because we don't have enough Canadians Is, on our team. What about you, Jim? Do you stay I, for the whole yeah, thing or do you I, leave early? I, I I've been leaving early all the time. I you know just um, staying up until midnight. Anna, and, what team did I put you on? Ours. Oh, Is three. That, Are you pirates? Two. Ours. Two. Okay, Arr. so I'm gonna put Lee there, and I'm gonna put Saunders there, mm. and then I'm gonna put Adrian here. Okay, I think that's. I think I've evened it up. Yeah. Um. While Susan is figuring out the teams, I have a question for Alan Steiner and Child. Mm. Avi, are you going? Is this an extended visit from Germany, or are you done with being in Germany? I'm, it's an extended visit. I am uh, returning to Germany on Monday. Oh, thank he you. He might be done out. with Germany, but he's not. <laughs> <laughs> Germany's not done with him Germany. yet. Yeah. Are you okay, enjoying we, yourself? I am. I'm. I, I'm really enjoying myself, and I'm really enjoying the place that I've been working. I've been uh, getting a lot of math done. A lot of math. You know, you know that you can get math done without going to Germany, right? Just checking. Not with these oh. people. They don't let you do math. There's, there's Germany. getting math done, and then there's getting paid while getting math done. Are you getting exactly? It has to be non-metric math. He's yeah. figuring it out. Are, are you get, there, Are you getting math? There are done no numbers like in real math. The, yeah. this, this, are, are you getting math done that hasn't been done before? Yes. If if what I'm doing has been done before, I will be very sad to find that out because I mean I'll be excited in that now I know why it, what what the answer is and how it was done, <laughs> but also that will kind of put my career back a little bit. But he's doing he's doing basically he's doing hieroglyphics. I'll, yeah, I'll save you some time, Avi. The answer is forty two. Forty two. Yeah, yeah. oh, I was just I was just well, gonna I'll say have to tell my collaborators that we already have the answer. Dang. I as soon as as soon as he said that I said the answer to life, the universe, and everything is Rob, who's going to start with the second category. Yay! Okay, so from a few weeks ago, you guys might remember if you were here, except for the new people that I had returned from a cruise and our cruise director played trivia in the lounge and she gave me her set of questions for the Netherlands, which is where we were. Well, she was, I actually uh, sent her the video of our game and she said, thank you, I'll watch that. And by the way, here is my set for the one I'm on now, which is for France. So, Ooh, yay. Oh. France cruise thanks to- Oh you know, no. <laughs> so here's your, so this is your tour director again. Yes. So this is so this is taking through uh on the rivers and canals of uh of uh Europe. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. So this is you know, a subset of Joanna's 30 or so questions that she does on her trivia game. Number 1. Where I'm did... muting everyone. Thank, Thank you. you. 
Number one is where did crepes originate? Corsica, Provence, Lyon, or Brittany? And I assume that's not Spears, Vincent. Copy number two, <laughs> number two is how many nuclear reactors are in France? I'm gonna give you plus or minus 20 on that. Percent, right? What, 20%, yes. Okay. Wait, wait, how do you have nuclear reactors as a percent? Question, counting uh, yeah, that makes question sense. Rob, are these functional or shut down ones? Functional nuclear reactors. Functional. Okay, so what about mean percentage? What percentage of the electricity is produced by reactors? No, sorry, I, that's the range I'm going to give you. You right. can be off. You can be uh, off by twenty okay. percent. Sorry. So oh, you're not giving us a number to not hint us to the order of magnitude of what. That is doing. correct. Oh. There you go. I like to do this better. Yeah. yeah. Ew. <laughs> I thought I had it figured out the other way. <laughs> that no. makes it too easy if everyone does that. Number three. You can buy postage stamps at French post offices, of course, but where else? Most any government building, supermarkets with a special sign, newspaper casks with a special sign, or cafes with a special sign. So know that. Number I'm four. Must know that, Ayana. <laughs> <laughs> Which flowers would it be untactful to offer someone in France? Roses. Chrysanthemums. I can't say that word. Chrysanthemums. Chrysanthemums, carnations, or lily of the valley. Hold on a minute. You can get that word out, but you can't get some other words out. <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised, Susan. Ayana, don't, I don't mess with don't, these people are nuts. Can you please just do something about getting them out of here? Chrysanthemums? <laughs> Number That's five. A common word. My God. <laughs> Number five. It's also the flower. The it's the flower of Salinas. I thought people were beautiful. What is the flower of Washington State? The chrysanthemum. The Washington uh. chrysanthemum. Chrysanthemums are the are. It was a very it was my favorite John Steinbeck story. I apologize, Rob. Sorry to distract us. <laughs> Number five. You invited to an evening meal at the home of your French friend. Which of the following is it most appropriate to bring as a gift? A small gift such as a box of chocolates. Flowers, a bottle of wine, or nothing at all. The French do not do this. I don't have any French friends. <laughs> Number six. Every, every music radio station in France is under obligation to play a quota of French music. Every music radio station, I presume. Yes. How much is that? 5%, 10%, 25%, or 35%? I tried to hit all sorts of different categories here. This one's architecture. Number seven, the tallest building in the world, measured from its deepest footing to its highest point, was completed in 2004 and is located in the south of France. It is the one tallest bridge. He said tallest, tallest bridge. Correct. I said the wrong thing. Yes, it is 1,104 feet tall. The bridge has been constantly ranked as one of the greatest engineering achievements of modern times and received the 2006 Outstanding Structures Award from the IABSE. Name this engineering marvel. And I don't know if I could say those words. <laughs> I'm not trying. Who's good in French? Anyone I'll do it of? for you. Read I'm that, please. Good. Read Rose that. Arby, uh, well, viaduct, okay. Uh, Pont des Arts, Milo Viaduct. Viaduct, yeah. On the San Nazaire. Okay, that's it, four choices. Number eight. What is the most widely planted red grape variety in France? We did a wine category, so I have a feeling this might've come up. Merlot, Chardonnay, Malbec, or Pinot Noir? You didn't whine when you said that. Number nine. All right, so I asked you about modern structures. How about ancient structures? How many castles are there in France, according to Wikipedia? And I'll just tell you a hint there. There are thousands. And I'm going to give you plus or minus 25%. And number 10. Oh in France, it is either is now or was or either was or currently is illegal to name your pig Napoleon. True or false? <laughs> is this one of her questions yep 
Go a true or your... false question. <gasps> Iona, how so that... I, why am I saying your name wrong every time? Yo, it's Joanna. Joanna. Okay, Joanna. I like Trent, that. She's from Transylvania. That was, that's clever. She's from Transylvania. Good job on that one. I'm not so happy about the... No, Napoleon Bacon. Wine. Really? No, no bacon back on your Napoleon. All right. So when will she have a when will she have a break that she can actually join us for a night of trivia, Rob? Yeah, that's she's not going to want to be here. Europe, that's not too easy to do. You, you can wanna... name your pig Napoleon Bonaparte. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll be in my room in a minute, you guys. I got to put everybody in their groups that are not currently in a group. So, Adrian, you're in five. Try and get the answers done before she gets there. You are in no problem there. Two. Saunders, you're in two. Please. We've got Robin. Robin knows her French. Boy, we I, okay. I, we're, I I'm just gonna go. Some educated guesses. I'm just gonna go and hang why. out in the other room, do dishes or something. Like crepes, uh, I mean, probably not Corsica. I'd say Brittany. I was thinking Brittany too, and I don't know why. Brittany okay. has crepe festivals. Um, okay. I I don't know, but that is my guess. I'm fine with that. How many nuclear reactors? I'd say about um, like 120. 120? Wow. That's oh, I think it's, I'd say about 60. I, think I was going to say 30. That. I don't know. I've just been reading about nuclear power recently. but I have no. Well, they have something like 30 stations, each of which has two to three reactors. Plus, they probably have some non power generating reactors for research or weapons production. Or maybe what he really means is how many nuclear power plants are there? Well, he says reactors. And he doesn't say so how many if, commercial power reactors are there. If he means plants, we can uh, lambast him for it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. How many reactors are normally in a power plant? More Depends than one. on the plant. There's it's no standard. Anywhere from one to five or six depending on uh, i believe japorishia in ukraine has eight so it can be a lot right this is yana's question she wrote it not rob then i would say the 120 i like the 120 so so i i don't know i don't know her personality well enough to know if she would have just been thinking of just the building like oh yeah rob may not even know a nuance for the question He's got the answer. It doesn't mean he knows, understands it. Yeah. yeah. So, Rob, we could answer both questions. Yeah. Try well, just just write it down as both and saying so that it makes sense. Because if it's yeah, when he just, comes over here, we could ask him. We're going. I'd say point. 120 reactors out of about 32 power plants. Okay, okay that's okay. a fair answer. Because see, it's, no, I said 30, and what I was thinking of is the number of power plants. Because I know I've seen. Oh a map before that it's not right. 120 power plants all right and question three is more something that a cruise director on a ship might be asking might be telling people as a way of informing them as they're going to get off the ship to go buy postage cards yeah. Yeah. so i i don't know how we would even know this why do you I think can't, i can't imagine it's cafes no, no. I, no. I would i would think Either A, A or C. I don't think it's supermarket C. I, I like C, but I have no C I sounds like C. good because the C is good because they probably have one on the cruise ship. Ooh. Uh, yes. Um I I like C. Let's go with C. I'm good with C. C is fine. I would have gone with A because it's at post offices. Never mind, but that's okay. I'll probably be wrong. Which well, is France, France is a very bureaucratic country, but they love forcing bureaucracy upon the private citizens. <laughs> so, so you know, you don't have to go to a government building. No, no, no. The French government will make the newspaper kiosk sell it to you. Okay, so four, I would say 
Could it be roses because of the War of the Roses? Yeah, the War of the Roses was in England. Yeah, I know, but because there's an animosity towards the British, <laughs> and they had yeah, the war. I would say it, I, I was guessing that the my theory was that it had to do with funerals or death. You don't you bring one kind of one. right. I yeah, I have no guess. Okay, like That's don't bring a funeral flower to a dinner party. Isn't that Lily Oak Valley though? Yeah. Yeah, I would say I think that's good. Okay, the girls have it. But I also have some <laughs> thought in the, my head about chrysanthemums. Um, like something about Maris. Yeah. She lived in France well, for three years and, you know, I spent a lot of time. Chrysanthemums, aren't they, they the um, origin of pyrethrins or something like that? I don't know. Sounds vaguely familiar. Uh, which would make them a poison, at least an insecticide. Um, well, I know five, I like C or D. Okay, let's go with D then, because I like B or D. <laughs> I don't like C. Uh, okay. I, I don't have any reason to vote one way or the other. I can't support any, so I'm good with whatever. Um, I think I I on number five. I don't think it's D. I think that they. I think A. To be honest. A. Yeah. Yeah, I'd go with A. That's okay. Okay. A? That's Canadian French. A. Mm -hmm. I would have said C because they drink wine. All the time. I wouldn't say Everything. yeah, but I, I would think that the host would want to provide the proper wine to match the cuisine they are serving. Yeah, that's exactly. a, that's, that's a Miss Manners exactly. thing. Yeah. That's what Miss Manners would say. You don't bring wine yeah. unless that's you true. want them to drink it at a different occasion. Right. Let's, right. So you like A? I like A. A? You're not supposed to bring chocolate? No, it is no, appropriate. You do bring chocolate. You bring oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. No All right. French music. Ten uh, percent. I bet it's high okay. because okay. once again the government likes to impose do ridiculous D? things. I would go C. I think Bob doesn't like to do screams. Yeah, yeah I'd, I'd go I'd C go as well. C too. Yeah. Okay. C. But he didn't write this. Joanna did. Oh. Yeah, but he true. could have picked a different percentages. Yeah, he could. Yeah, he could have yeah. manipulated it. Yeah. yeah, she could have given him the questions and the answers and he could have given the the distractors. Yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, oh, this bridge, I think it's the Milau Viaduct. Okay. okay. That just sounds I, I, familiar I, to me. I, I I thought it was probably one of the two viaducts and I thought it was the Milau one too. So. Really? If this was it, uh, something that was newly made, I thought the viaducts were all Roman stuff. Those so, are aqueducts. Oh God! Thank Troy, you. are you mixing your aqueducts with your via ducks? <laughs> yeah, I am. I do all the time too. Oh my gosh! Great yeah. minds think alike. <laughs> I, I'm in a neighborhood. Every street is named after a duck. <laughs> but the other one I I'm, like is I'm on Merganza Lane. Oh really? Duck. Yep. That's cute. <laughs> every every street named after a duck. Okay, Aww. so we, we like. We like C for number seven, right? Yes. Okay. You know, I think C might be the answer for every question. <laughs> Wouldn't that be funny? Let's, I, I, it's I easy for them Robin to give her the answers. C for, for eight. What do you have for eight, Robin? I like I like D, Pinot Noir. Really? Yeah. What do you think okay. it is? I was thinking Merlot, but I don't know enough to say you're wrong and I'm right. So... I'm, I'm I'm prejudiced because of the movie Sideways and the, the line I am not. Yeah, that was a great movie, wasn't it? <laughs> well, Merlot I think one of the in jokes in, in there, though, that like Merlot is actually like more preferred. And that was like an in joke in the writing. Well, they use Merlot to blend with everything. Yeah. But Pinot Noir. Oh, so, you know, if they use Merlot to blend with everything, then it is probably the most widely well, no, printed. No, because, but Pinot Noir makes red without the skins. It's white. And isn't it champagne without the skins too? You can make white Merlot too, though. So well, I could, it it I might thought. be used to make um, rosé champagne. 
Yeah, the pink champagne. I think, I think we're pretty confident it's not B or C. Correct. Definitely not B. <laughs> um, I, I don't have enough confidence to insist on an answer. Let's do. I think I'm. I'm feeling Pinot because of the champagne industry and the pink pink champagne. All right. Okay, thousands of castles. Oh my! Oh, well, five thousand. <laughs> Sounds oh. fine to me. So yeah, we I, get five thousand. No. I think what it's gonna plus, get. I think it's got to be more than five thousand. What does plus? What does plus or minus twenty five percent mean? Of our guess. So or yes, of, so, of the actual but, answer. So, yeah, of the actual so answer. The actual so if the answer, answer was one hundred thousand. Seventy five thousand to one hundred twenty five thousand. Gotcha. Right, and if it's 5, so twenty five percent of five thousand is twelve hundred and fifty. So we're plus. No, that's not. That's not what he said. It's of the actual answer. Yeah, but what? No, it's of our answer. I think. No, oh. it's of the actual answer. Oh, we of the actual it. answer. Okay. So if the actual answer is five thousand, oh, I see the twelve fifty. Then we don't give a shit because we're right on the money. <laughs> I think we should. I think we should um go a little higher. Five thousand one. Like double <laughs> that, uh, ten thousand, uh, over well, nine thousand. He, he could be trying to throw us off. There could be two thousand two hundred, yeah. and that would still be correct to say there are right. thousands. <laughs> um. So okay, five thousand is fine. So wait, what? Five or ten? Five. Yeah, I'm starting to think it's a trick question. The hint is trick. Yeah. I, so I, Napoleon I, was actually Corsican. I, I don't think they care what you name your pig. No. Right. So I, I'm going to say they would be shocked if it was illegal. In well, France. Robin said they like to interfere in people's personal lives. Yes. Not necessarily but... in your personal life, but in your, um, in, in, your in, life. The, in your work life. Yeah. But what about your pig's life? I don't think they <laughs> well, care about You know, that. when you, not when you make something illegal to name your pig, it would be some name that you don't want to sully. Yeah, but here's the thing. It says either was or currently. I think it was illegal. It says oh, was or currently. Oh. I suppose I at any maybe, time it could Maybe have in been. the time of Napoleon. Right. right. Okay, so remember, Joanna, Joanna wrote that question, so she might have done it to be funny because it's a fun kind of thing. My my guess is that this I is bet it's true. Of, my guess is this is some sort of common myth, but it's false. Oh, that's yeah, but I think I think it was maybe Napoleon had a problem. Someone named it and got mad. So yeah, because why would we put was or currently? It, yeah, yeah. Because like I can, th I think it was a long time ago, and it currently it doesn't matter. I think that sounds plausible. It sounds like I our, agree. since we're, but I, you know, I could totally be wrong. But I think was in a way that's if you say was, it's it's almost an unanswerable question. So you should put true. Well. No. If it was ever illegal, that means it was one time a law in the books, and that's not an ambiguous, impossible to determine thing. Yeah, well, if it was, yeah. So it's it's it either was or wasn't. But that's only two hundred years ago. I cannot like, believe that this is the question that we're arguing about. <laughs> what can you name your pig in France? <laughs> now you can name it Napoleon be an Bonaparte. Rule because like, like I, she said, I don't, I don't think anybody files birth certificates for pigs to declare their name legally. But if you were walking through town with a stick and you're moving your your pig around from place A to place B and you called it Napoleon, would you get arrested? You meet the guillotine. <laughs> I, it's got to be false. I mean, come on. How would they enforce that? Back in the day when people actually spent their lives in the street. Did they have to register their pigs if they had them on a farm, give it a name and brand it or something, you know? Like they did with cows and cattle. Maybe you know, there's just... probably a pig registry. <laughs> I doubt they name the pig. Though. Yeah, that's true. A they pig registry. Them. You would they count your pigs them. like if you were going to leave them in what a pool or something. Yeah, they might. They might have named them Napoleon the first, Napoleon the second, Napoleon. You know, like George, like George Foreman. Napoleon the fourteenth. Um, that would be that would be crazy. You know, <laughs> it's just one of those questions. You could go either way. Um, should we flip a coin? That's why it's a great question. Well, we could we can <laughs> poll people and go by votes. That's true. Oh my god. Okay, true or false? 
True. I say true. Right. Susan, I, true or false? Um, I I just don't know. I can see both okay. sides. Yeah. Brian, That's true or false? True. Caspian, true or false? I'd say false. Robin, true or false? True. I I I'm gonna lean towards the false now, but I don't. I think I've just been outvoted. Right. Three true and Four one true is false. I voted and false. Even if we add Susan's false, that's still three to two. And Kyle said false. I said false. Caspian said. Oh oh, sorry. So it's a tie score, <laughs> and that makes it, it true. Be, it can't be the <laughs> seven of us. Okay. okay, let's go again. We'll I say six true. Of us. Okay. Oh. Yeah, I'll say start start, start over and, and start the. I'll tell you what. If if you if you're guessing true, raise your hand. One, I, two, I, three, four. And I, okay, one, and then if you think it's two, false, raise your hand. Three. False. One, two, three. It's four to three. Oh, and four to three. Right. It's, it's so true. Close. All right. Well, the then we have it. to be right. So we're going true. All right. Boom. Yeah, it's never been a time I, I, when the majority is wrong. wrong. So, yeah, I know. I think that could be happening. <laughs> All right. Great. Anybody it's the word was that makes me believe that. Was. All right. So, one, we got D. Two, we've got 120 slash 32. C, we have three, newspaper. Four, we have D, Lily. Five, we have A, chocolates. Six, we have C, 25. Seven, we have C, Melio, Viaduct. Eight, we went D, Pino. Nine, we went 5,000. And 10, we went true. Yeah, that's All right. If I Perfect timing. If I don't see you on the other side, thanks for hosting me tonight. I'll try and well, come it's back. Well, nice to have you visit, Brian. Come once in a while. I hope to make it back. I was just, I drove a long time today, so I'm kind of tired, but I uh, hope to. Yeah, stay for I, the picture. I'll be here listening to the answers, I think. Yeah, because we, we do the answers, then we do picture. Oh. Well, answers and score, and then. Okay, already. Are you still in the Boston area? He's gone. Where'd he go? Well. He went to the room or something. He probably clicked that button to leave breakout. Oh, he probably did. Yeah, he doesn't know that we have a two-hour, two-hour, two-two-minute warning. Two and we also have a two-hour, a two-hour discussion before we take the picture. <laughs> oh my God, you guys! <laughs> oh man! My kids are mad at me. They don't want to be. I don't want to play that stupid trivia game. Why? <laughs> we got my it's fun. One, they my must think it's right. Want. Your younger son does. He likes it. Jake liked it when he did it once with us. My son did it once. Your other son likes it. Jake, the younger one, yeah. No, the other one. The older one, no. He's he was screaming, "Hey, where's my anal lube?" He wanted it like funny. No, your other son. Oh no, that's Bob's son. The... I have two. That's right. Okay, Bob's son likes to play. Yeah, Jake played once. That's right. And he was the answer to one of the trivia questions when we had to count how many people brought people in. Oh, that's right. No. Okay, well. She doesn't like me very much, but she still came over, came over to me just for whatever reason. Now she's complaining. She's a darling. So do they like yeah. little eggs? They do yeah, little eggs? Yeah, a little, yeah. A little but, like yeah, that. Like that. It was my guess. Yeah, about less than an inch. Like bigger bigger than a quail, but smaller than your typical yeah. chicken egg. Yeah. Darling. And her mom has got nine. When they were about eight, uh, let's see. Oh, it's going to be a quick. She over. started on the 14th. So she's she's spent about two weeks. Right? No. Just a little, a week and a half. So another week and a half. Uh, they'll hatch. Are you not. pointing at me, Avi? Stop that. I saw him pointing at. He's pointing at me. Pointing. He's pointing at the laundry that he's. Yeah, right. He's pointing at me. 
That's what I was going to bring up last time. I think the only reason why uh, Avi's there is just because he ran out of clean laundry. So that's why he came home, just so he can get some laundry done. And then he's back Germany with all his clothing. Uh, $900 to come home and do my laundry. Yes, exactly. That makes sense. That makes total sense. And you want to tell Sarah to keep the noise down. She's really disturbing things. <laughs> Where is Sarah? Same yeah, for the cock keys and said, Oh, she yeah, had her foot still there. Things. Okay. Oh, there you go. Has she been helping? <laughs> not not uh, our no. team. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay, this we is ready? Category. Yeah, answer. All right. yeah, answers. Answer. answer time. Answer. So, um, it looked like people did reasonably well on this. So we're, it was hard because we, we were reading Joanna's uh, mind, you know, we're like, we're like, well, what would Rob think? What so would so, think? so here's like, an interesting thing. didn't write it. I did tweak some of them because some of them we I figured that them. I didn't like the answer or the way she had it. And one of them, you'll find out she had the wrong answer. After I looked it up, she was wrong. And oh, I her, no. She's she watching this right wrong. now. You are. She has, she has not off replied the cruise ship. People okay. all over the world on the cruise ship are now recounting okay. the points. Yeah, yeah. Come Rob. back, Joanna. <laughs> Come back. Still, still watch us. Still join us sometimes. <laughs> going to ruin somebody's cruise. All right, so number one, where did the crepe originate? This was in Brittany, which is a peninsula Yay, in the northwest. Caspian. Wow. Brittany alone. Hey, Alan. He's Brittany alone. Or something. <laughs> Free Brittany. Alan, Alan had a point. All right, how many nuclear reactors? So I always heard there were, you know, a ton of them, but then again, I did hear people, well, how big is France? What's the population? So per population, they have a lot, but it's a fairly small country compared to the U.S., and the answer is not 42. That would have been cool, but it's 56. So the oh, range, nice. range is 45 to 67, if I didn't oh, know. Uh, so. uh, you can buy postage stamps at French post offices and where else? I heard one team at least get this. Cafes with a special sign. Yay. Oh, right. Yay. The newspaper place. The Tobac. Yes. Rob, is that the one that you changed? Now, I actually added newspaper kiosks with a special sign, yeah. I'm so mm. sorry. You can buy oh, them. I owned yeah. him. I owned him. He was wrong. Wait, are you him. saying that it, you can, <laughs> because you can buy them at the newspaper kiosk? Yeah. You can. No, so, no. You can buy them at a French post office and where else? The one correct answer was cafe with a special sign. But you can buy other them places, at though. a newspaper kiosk. No, I it added that be a newspaper That was just a random one I added. Cafe. But you can. <laughs> Jane's saying she's been there and bought them from newspaper. And Karen's cast. been there and bought them there. Oh, you were so much. Oh, so I randomly happened. added so, the right answer. So I actually yeah, added, added the right answer. What you're answer. telling me? Okay. So, uh, two so we get that correct. Right. Awesome. Definitely Thank get a point. Thank you, correct. Correct. Great. And you can also get cigarettes there. They call them a tobacco. Tobacco. Somehow Rob gets a point. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think one for Rob. Okay, two points for two. Two. Rob gets a point deducted off his next week's score. <laughs> <laughs> Not on my team. I'm going to add that actually in the official list, and I'm going to give. Boy, Sue, you Sue, wanna... uh, Well, that was my fault. Okay, I just randomly added one, and I thought, ah, that's a stupid. Sure, one, went correct. back with a ha hammock. All right, which flower would it be untactful to offer someone in France? And this one, I left the way she had it. And uh, she says it is the one I kept trouble pronouncing, chrysanthemums. Uh, really? Hey. Why? Hey. Hmm. Sorry, Jim. Why would chrysanthemums be a problem? I, I didn't look at it. Because you can pronounce it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a weird world. Word I, 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 I like it. Washington State chrysanthemum. I like the idea. I just Googled it. It's it because they're associated with death. Uh, you know. Oh, yeah. in America, we have right lilies of the valley. Oh, yep. Yeah, Jim, yeah, Jim I got called it. First, but but Jane, sorry, right. Okay. I said right. I, I said I was that, pulling chrysanthemums out of my head and the recesses of my brain, but then we didn't guess that. And number five, uh, if you're invited to an evening meal at a French friend's house, what should you bring? Uh, apparently, what? it is not a bottle of wine because uh -huh. it has so much wine. <laughs> I thought that would be it. I added nothing at all. The French do not do this. Uh, it is a Chocolate. small gift with, such as a box of chocolates. Yeah, yeah because if you're it. bringing wine, it's you're implying it's that good. their wine isn't good enough. Oh. Exactly. Number it's six. So, yes, everyone understood that the French are really protective of their, uh, I would say, their language because they hate the fact that French used to be the language of the world and it is no longer. So it is 35%. Yay. Wow. Yay. Oh, wow. 
I thought you juggled wow, those that's numbers. Over, that's over one out of three songs that's on the radio. A, have to be right. so they don't know much of the Beatles, I guess. And they numbers. only have one song. They just need to show my bell. Or they play a bunch of like three second French songs and then get on the with the playlist. <laughs> <laughs> Number seven. All right. The tallest bridge in the world is, I will share this. It's quite impressive looking. The Milieu Vedat. Yeah. Oh, oh, wow. oh, wow. Look at that. That is pretty tall. Oh, I hope they have suicide rails on that because oh, man. Lord, how does... <laughs> Can you, actually drive, can you actually drive on that thing? Uh, I don't or is remember. It a real viaduct, a passenger yeah. road, or a train road. I don't know. Uh, All right, let me look it up. Trucks. <laughs> Number what? eight. What does a viaduct seat, right? mean? Isn't it? That's the thing that threw me off. Did you ever watch the Marx Brothers? Viaduct. Viaduct. <laughs> no, moving on. Number eight. Oh, oh, I actually like that, but that was what all. Is the most a chicken, and you'll find out why. It what is the most widely planted red grape variety in France? Uh, this <laughs> one I would have gotten right, just because I don't know the other ones very well. Uh, Marlowe. Okay. Sorry, uh, uh, Robin. I, went uh, I guess I should have insisted corner. on that one. You gotta go in the corner, girl. <laughs> How many castles are there in France? This like, just blew my mind. And I thousands, looked this up to thousands. make sure it was right. And and yeah, according, I actually added according to Wikipedia. I don't know where she got it from, but it's uh, 45,000. Holy 45,000. Oh, look at Romero. <laughs> 40, Is it plus or minus 40,000? So here's here's the uh, range. 33,700. <laughs> 40, right, we got it. Hey, I see Sarah. I, wow. Sarah. I see a part of her eye. Bye. You're leaving us? Yeah, I got to work you? in the morning. People Bye. Up. Hi, Sarah. Nice Did talking you to you. Hi, Uncle Sheldon. Thank you. How come you're, nice how come you. you're in Sacramento? Yeah, I you? I'm home. I'm hey, in Chicago wait, take for the picture. weekend. Wait, Why are you working? Oh, we'll get the picture. Oh, yeah, Sarah. You should stay for the picture. It's only in a few minutes. And the last one. Just your foot, Stella. Or Stella. Sarah. Stella. Stella's my granddaughter. Sorry. And the last one, this is the one I had to change because she had it wrong. Um, she said that this was true, but in fact, it's an urban myth. Urban myth. Uh, oh, this damn it. Like, no, oh, this one she got wrong. Hey, Boo. I have okay, a feeling. I you know wrote two that people. all mean. You wrote that to say, has it not only is it illegal now, or what? Has now, it ever been? had it ever been in the past? And that's what threw our group. Yeah, mm -hmm. that, that wording too, implied me. it was true. Yeah. And I convinced the rest of my team, except for three smart people who we you overruled. You convinced me. <laughs> right. The three smart people. Carl, Caspian, and I said me. false. And the others said true. It is false. So it is false. Is the answer is I know, false. but we got outvoted. Ah, yeah. <laughs> There's the answers in one spot for you, Susan. Okay. okay. Thank it you was. The word was killed me. It's like, it was, yeah. Maybe. Yeah, so it's funny. It's, it's uh, the article, that article, historians know they trace all the way back. No, no, no. This was never a law. It isn't a law. And in her quiz, she said, yeah, so she's part of it. it the, the article did say it is commonly believed to be true. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. There well, was there was a guy, there was a, 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 a several years ago, uh, one minister did propose that all that it would be illegal to name any any person uh, any pet after a person. Um, well, but but it was I know that that was not passed. <laughs> Wait, okay, where did was right. that proposed? I'll bet, I'll bet there wasn't a law on the books, but a couple of Napoleon soldiers would show up at your house and. <laughs> Just like falling, falling. Not going to the road to Moscow. Zombies. Picture time. I'm going to do a picture before we get scored. So everybody get ready because I want to make sure I get the picture. Before you start your towels. Rob, Ooh, wait towel? a minute. I got to get my towel. Oh my God. I need my towel. This is oh, okay. like a towel. This is Max's daughter standing in for Max. How <laughs> could you enforce not naming a pet after a person? I mean, you don't you know, know all the names like of the birth people. certificates. <laughs> okay, here we go. Are you guys smiling? Ready to go? Got your towels. One, two, three. Okay. 
I mean, if you're if you name a dog Sarah, how are they supposed to prove that it's named after some friend of yours named Sarah? I mean, come <laughs> on, that's the most absurd. If you're walking through the town, dog, it would be registered with the American Kennel Club, and then they could come up. My take it is if somebody names their kid named Fido, does after? everybody have to rename their dogs? If yes, you named the <laughs> if you named a pig Donald J. Trump. <laughs> you well, we did do okay, that. So that's that's not that's not that's that's you that's 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 Okay, so here we go with the scores. Uh, Being special gets you 18 years. Three. DeSantis would be a disaster. Thank you, Caspian. Six. Woo. And Alexa raises debt ceiling. Three. I, okay, if if Santos is the answer, you're asking the wrong question. Seven. Woo! I swear Stewart's 18 roads to perdition were years in the making. Four. Wow. Wow. Should have listened to Caspian. Um, okay, anyway. <laughs> okay, bye. All right, thanks for a fun time. Enjoy All your here. everyone. All right, see bye you bye next bye. time. Good All to right, see you, Brian. Bye. Five minutes. Okay, so I'm going to put Paula bye. on five. Five minutes, right? Bye. Oh. I'll be back. Yes, nice to see you too. Okay. Good to see you, Adrian. Yeah. Bye. Right. And who uh, would I be missing? Uh, Jim. Okay. I'll. I guess I'll uh, say good night and. Uh, okay. And see you good in another night, week. Jim. Bye. Bye, Jim. Bye. I'm looking to see who's left. So, if it's illegal to name your pet after a person, is it illegal to name your child after a pet? Because I know people who've done that. But it's childless, false. Childless couples who, you know, think that they're never going to have a kid and they really love this name, then name their dog that and then boom, get pregnant. <laughs> and they've used up the good name. It's a curse. <laughs> so were they naming the child after the pet or are they naming the child the same name as the pet? Well, that is exactly <laughs> another good point of why that would be the most absurd law in the world. No, They're naming the, the child absurd. something that they would regret for the next, uh, however long the pet lives. You know, there are certain it's countries not the most absurd where it is you illegal have to name your child something that is not off the approved list. Yeah, if it's not absurd, because if you had a leader who was really like an ego, you know, a Kim Jong or somebody or, or, of Trump, you know, he would like, I want to impose a law. You can't name a pig after me. You know, you, you have to have a dictator like that who doesn't want anybody to think of him that way. Well, the country I'm right. thinking of is not actually a dictatorship. It's Iceland. And they have a limited list of how many, what names you can name your own children? Yes, yeah. Iceland it's is about very... a thousand names. Yeah, you, you, you have to name your kid off the list. Yeah. Seriously. Yep. True. It's what, true. What would what would be the consequence if you if you didn't? Um, they won't put it on the birth certificate. Birth certificate. Yeah, they won't register your child's name. And, and is there is there rationale you, for that? That they, they will want... issue your child a name. Okay, so is there rationale that you have that they want to save Icelandic culture by saving the names instead of having you know allowing a trend of American sounding names or something like that? I'm not sure. I, it's a pretty it's a pretty old law. I remember hearing about it when I was young because we had Icelandic neighbors upstairs, and they didn't yeah. and they haven't Brazil gotten it off the book yet. Brazil nope. has a law saying you can't give a child a given name that is the same as a somebody's surname. Oh, oh, that's ridiculous too. Because there's a million surnames out there. We do that all uh, the time. Besides, that's a that's a very standard British tradition of naming yeah. your son after. The mother's yeah. maiden name. Also, there's kind of like in British tradition, there's sort of a march from place name to surname to first name. Mm -hmm. There's an evolution and there's waves mm -hmm. that go through that. Yeah. Yeah. So it's almost like different countries have different traditions. <laughs> kind of like oh, wow. that. 
How well, amazing. Then some who of them who would have ever thought that that could happen? <laughs> there are similar ones. I mean, um, my my husband's um, island in, in Grenada, it's very common for for men's first names to be traditional, you know, surnames. Mm-hmm. And that that to me was always sort of seems kind of old fashioned because that was sort of what was popular in my grandparents day. But that's still very common there now. But, you know, names come in trends and stuff. Actually, speaking of speaking of Grenada, they have kind of this. I don't know if this is like the law or it's just such a custom that I don't know if you could like break it or whatever. But but, you know, children are, are generally christened in a church. And I said, well, what? And if you don't agree to, you know, you know, the praise, the priest, you know, signs the, the birth or pastor or whatever signs the birth certificate. So, well, then what happens? Does the child not get named if you, you know, if you don't want to do it through a church? And my husband sort of shrugged and he's like, oh, everybody just gives up. <laughs> you know, I don't know. <laughs> it's such a religious place that. You know, I don't know that that's in the law or it's just that that's where you go to get physically get the birth certificate, um, you know, at the time that the child is, you know, Christian. But if you then don't want to. So there's a lot of there's a lot of people that have their kids, you know, christened in a church that they don't necessarily attend themselves just because, OK, I got to I got to go name the kid. Kind of like going to the courthouse or something. Mm-hmm. My sister-in-law, so my sister-in-law changed her name multiple times. She was born Karen, then she mm-hmm. changed it to Catherine, and then she wanted attention and whatever her nutty reasons, she changed it to Hildegard or something like that. So my kids started calling her Auntie Ocho Cinco. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my favorite name-changing story. It's true. And it was, you remember my, my college roommate who was um, the, the first cousin of uh, Mama Cass who came, went to one of our days when she was visiting me. Yeah. Her sister is an actress, right? And her name was Debbie Schwartz. And she said, you can't be an actress named Debbie Schwartz, right? So she had her name legally changed. And she will therefore be known forevermore and has been ever since then as Dea Schwartz. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody else will do that. <laughs> okay, we're back. We're back. She changed that's the cute. Schwartz. She changed the Debbie. That's very cute. <laughs> okay, well, that's Schwartz. Oh, I get it, Dea. Oh, okay, okay. All she right, we're the, back. The, she changed the Debbie to Dea. She left the Schwartz. <laughs> That's hilarious. I like, I like, that sounds pretty cool. Yeah. All right. So May we're back. May the shorts be with you. May the shorts be with you. <laughs> with you. And you too. All right. So Ron is reading the giant book of. Uh, I'm reading episode Ruan. 42 of Monty Python's Flying Circus. Ooh. Oh, that's funny. And is it in really? there? I haven't found them yet. Well, Ooh. it's on page 42. It's probably the Silly Walks one. <laughs> Uh, that's he much earlier. Apparently, he plays a doctor for briefly in that sketch. I looked on Wikipedia. All right, so here we go. Let me see, Rob. You have anything? I'm just going in order what I see on the screen. Hey, Rob's on hey, mute. Rob. Rob, you're on mute. Rob, Rob, you're on mute. Yes, I do have something. You're on mute. How can I hear so, you? So, for can you hear me now? Yeah. Yeah. For people who no. can't get enough of Rob Palmer trivia, I am I am the speaker for Monday's Recovering from Religion RFRX talk, and we're doing for the second time Logical Fallacy Trivia. Oh. <laughs> so, and with a religious theme, of course, because it's oh. from religion. How about a time travel theme? Why would you do that? Why would I do that? Logical fallacies. Because to te- not to teach, everyone to te- is you. To teach people that when <laughs> their friend says, well, Christianity is the most correct religion because billions of people believe it, or 
because it's been around for thousands of years and people believe it. There's two logical fallacies there. And I've had a friend say, tell me that. That's why I should be a Christian. But so, you're not yeah. supposed to turn around and tell them. That's no, no, a it's, policy it, called No, you don't slam it on somebody. Or... But it's so that you don't get deceived by bad logic. And also that you don't try to use it on other people. So that's the point. Well, even if yeah, those were that's true, just that's the most ridiculous reason to believe in a religion anyway. What, well, because other you, people you, do? You tell my Christian friend who told me that. So anyway, yeah. here's, here's okay. the posting. Here's the All posting. All right. Thank like you, Rob. It. We're Did going to do it just like I stole okay. Susan's it's format. Okay. We're going to do okay. we're going to do breakout rooms. We're going to do teams. And yeah, we're going to do logical okay. fallacies. Okay. Very good. Adrian, you have anything? You can smell it easily. Yeah, it doesn't. I think I've. Not this week. You have. Um, I think I, I, the the last episode I was on, there was a little too much of me, so Richard needed to cleanse the palate. You have an article coming oh out. Oh my though. god! You know, Adrian, I was thinking of writing to Richard that he needs to change the name to the Adrian Zone, <laughs> but I did. I thought that would be too rude, so I did. not Okay. Adrian so, was in every segment. Yeah, oh. that was funny. That was the first. The day. Canadian. It was amazing. It was amazing. Yeah. So all I got to spend all the time. So, yeah. I got this. I got to spend the weekend with um, the Bay Area skeptics. So I saw Leonard and I saw Richard um, mm. on a Saturday, and then I got to go see Carolyn on Sunday. That was so cool. Really, really fun. And both groups had really big turnouts compared to what they thought they were going to get. And one of the things I I teach everybody is don't don't use logical fallacies to talk to people. <laughs> <laughs> don't do that don't don't have a discussion with anybody that uses the word logical or fallacy anywhere yeah, so, when you respond so so, the, so what we're doing in the trivia game is i am going to prevent a, i am going to present a religious argument like i just told you you should be a christian because um, billions of people have believed it for thousands of years and you have to not necessarily give me the name of the logical fallacy, but what's wrong with that line of thinking, right? So they're going to get two points for what's wrong with that line of thinking. Another two points for coming up with the same Wait, fallacy that, in a not religious trivia? sense. And then one point if they happen to know the name. But that's the least. It sounds important. like a scoring system that Rob Palmer would strongly object to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, but good thing Rob Palmer's not going to be involved. But there's so not the, one yeah. specific answer to why the argument is wrong. Well, basically, <laughs> you have to understand what is being said incorrectly and, and then give the rationale why that what is. If, what if they just give none? I say we join in this thing and give Rob a hard you. time. When oh, that I could see doing. <laughs> that that well, actually makes my day. It's just because your mother told you to jump up the bridge doesn't mean you should jump up the bridge. <laughs> right, right. Argument from authority. All yeah, right. I, so I agree with Susan. This isn't the way to try to argue with people out of no. religion my husband tries to do it's that i'm not we're not so yeah, we're not arguing people that. out of religion this is for people who've already left a religion and want to understand mm -hmm. how to think about these things let's okay. go move they've, on they've to, never had critical thinking richard well. saunders I, I i've been told has a podcast and, no, and no, he no, also he's, has 40 he's, logical he's, fallacies 40 <laughs> logical fallacies on the skeptic zone the fairy godmother angel of the internet yeah, yeah. no i'm not i'm not arguing against um you know the 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 truth in there being these fallacies or whatever it's just more like that's not going to actually convince people because never said it was emerged in such an act of fate you know that it doesn't it isn't logical <laughs> to start with right <laughs> richard get us out of this oh, oh. anyway anyway i'll stop <laughs> coming up on the uh, adrian zone podcast <laughs> 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 I joined Dr. Eugenie Scott as we look at dinosaurs here in San Francisco. I speak to Susan Gerbic live in Berkeley as she talks about her YouTube channel. The Book of Tim looks at mass hysteria. And the Trove segment is a general look at lake monsters. All that on the Skeptic Zone at skepticzone.tv. And the lake monsters segment I recorded in Skookum Studios. Oh, so Adrian is on the podcast. Sort of. Sort of. <laughs> my crap. microphone is on the podcast anyway. Yeah, very good. Thank okay. you for my earrings, Richard. 
Oh yeah, yeah, Richard. She's got her earrings on. They're her official trivia earrings. <laughs> They're my official trivia. They were that scared me. I could not find those things anywhere. We we kept expecting they had been lost on the. I, I was thinking I must have lost them in Berkeley, and some homeless person on the street picked them up as wearing them. <laughs> They're elephants. At the very last minute, we found them. They're so cute. Very cute. Well, very Susie, cute. you said something about my article as well. I mm -hmm. do have an announcement about that. I um. I did announce that I was doing, uh, right? I got an article coming out in Skeptical Inquirer in August and or July, August. It's been delayed to uh, to September, October. I just got oh. that news today. So Aww. I know, but I that's, know. that's you know, printing it in it. the magazine, it just takes a while. Yeah, it's okay. And I've got another one that I'm submitting tomorrow for online. So we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. Hopefully, I'm excited gonna... about that. Yeah. The online is easier to take anything I write. <laughs> Is that and, and and I couldn't understand what you were going through with the editing. No one ever changes a word. I, like, Julia, Julia, five times. That Julia my, went through mine. This last article I wrote, and she was going back and forth with me, saying, "Susan, I think it may be this or that." And I'm like, "Okay, that's a good idea." But I've never noticed anything changing them before. But she says she does. Uh, okay, <laughs> Kyle, I hey, hear you hey. have a podcast. I do indeed. It's called Data Skeptic, and we've kicked off a new season for the <gasps> next, yeah, little while. We're going to focus on artificial general intelligence and large language models. So if you've been uh, impressed or interested in things like ChatGPT, we're going to go into a deep dive in these technologies. This week, I talked to a researcher who's a computer scientist, but exploring what uh, psychopathological approaches might mean as we explore AGI safety. So all that and more this week on Data Skeptic. I only got through the beginning of that because you guys are starting to talk about the Terminator and that was freaking me out. Yeah, safety, <laughs> right, meaning they don't turn. It's like, oh, my out. God, this is the Terminator, he says. Oh, dear. Yeah. I didn't see that, but that was really good. Yeah. Okay, great. A new season. That would be fun. Um, anybody else have something besides me? Let me see. Oh, a Troy. I need to pause the recording, though. That was amazing. Too bad, you, too bad you people no. who didn't join us live missed it. I'm tired. Um, yeah, you have to be here live. <laughs> now, if you now, want I, to know that. now I know where who now, Kennedy. It was great. Now yeah. I know where yeah. D.B. Cooper yeah. is. Well, we understand, <laughs> we understand <laughs> where all the alien, that uh, that. alien and, UFOs and are And more importantly, his government. money or our money. Bigfoot. You guys the have money. Bigfoot in a cage. Well, wow. What do you think supports social trivia? Okay, <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay so I, I have um, the only things I've got coming up are I just did a talk for the Weekend Reason Group in Canada, and that was so much fun. I just lived for like an hour and a half talking about one sting, and that was a lot of fun. And I just had something, and it's now gone down the wrong throat a little bit. So anyway, that was a lot of fun. And oh my goodness. Do you have a um, story? Okay. <laughs> well, you got you. Brown. Go ahead, go ahead. <clears throat> yeah, it was really fun. I don't know if you all are aware of the last thing she did with regards to the children and Thomas John, the ch the readings with the kids. She uh -huh. wrote an article in Skeptical Inquirer. So she walked through that and she did, a, did it in a, such a way that was really fun because, and I know the story, so I'm listening to all this and she's talking about the one family that she recruited and they got the last ticket. And I'm like, but wasn't there another family involved? There's another family involved. Like, what, what's going on? Is my brain, is my memory that bad? And at the, the very end, she said, yes. And we got one more family in. And everybody was like. And, and somebody, else, and I was like, I saw some, some uh, mouth drops. And I thought, and I did do it almost all of that off the top of my head. So it was a lot of fun. But thank you. So that cool. come out eventually. She was cold reading people, which was awesome. That was it so was unplanned, fun. but it was so freaking funny. You guys got to watch that video. People on the screen. Is that, is that up? No. Is it? I don't know. That's uh, Lois does all that and Jana Lee. So I yeah, I did. I did cold reading, which is really funny. Did, and she you did were it playing the part of a psychic. No, I just was doing it, and and yeah, I know, but you were making me do a psychic, and I didn't tell them how I figured it out either. So it was, they were like, "What?" <laughs> yeah. Um, yes, you know, Peter, you've been taking notes all night, and I think with a pen, not a pencil. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and with a pen not a pencil that was really funny okay so next week on the 31st i'm just gonna let you guys know this because it's we won't meet for trivia i'm going to be doing a webinar with kenny biddle and richard saunders 
And what we're going to be talking about is, I know we're going to have a really good time because we're going to just joke around because it's the three of us are going to be able to just riff off each other. But it's about having difficult conversations with people. And I don't, I don't even remember at this point. Richard, do we know? Okay, we're going to be having no. conversations. It's it's part we'll of the series. We'll just make it up as we go along. Yeah, it's part of the series that, that Center for Inquiry is putting together. Well, I guess I'm putting together about that. And what we're going to be doing very soon, because Janine had this really great idea, is we're going to put together probably five listening sessions. And I'd like to have people from different organizations come to one of those things. And you're going to we're going to have conversations about what it is groups need what are the problems what is it the resources they need and so on so we can help put together a better program and that's coming up here really soon in probably june anything else that i know of? um leo igway was here on monday um uh, center for inquiry when that video comes out you guys gotta watch that did you say we're not having trivia next week no we're having trivia january 1st did I not hear that right? Uh, no, she's going to do something before we have trivia. Yeah, I'm saying that on Wednesday the 31st is whenever okay. the webinar is. So I won't see you guys before then. So the okay. stuff I'm talking about is like what's coming up next week before I see you again. Um, Kyle, you've got something coming up too, right? Carl. I'm gonna... Carl. No. <laughs> talking to me? Kyle, do you have something coming up? I will see if I talk, but it's not for a couple months. Oh, okay. Are you going to be talking about artificial intelligence? I am indeed. Oh, cool. See, I got to go. I'm, I am psychic. I don't know how I do this. Good reading. Very good. Wow, okay, Carl. I have a question for you, too, with regards to the SGU being wrong about artificial intelligence. Is that yes, what yes. talk is going to be about? Or did have the, has SGU contacted you or you contacted them? No, I haven't contacted them, and I wouldn't necessarily assume they know about me. But, yeah, I'll include that note again. There. He's going to get him. Get him. So Carl, Carl. wrong, wrong. In what form were they talking about it in their book through the, the the future, or was it no on, yeah. on the air? And you hear this from a lot of people. People say the Turing test has been has been passed. Oh, Nothing okay. could be further from the truth. Okay, Good. interesting. I want to hear that part. Um, okay. Carl has something coming up on the second. I don't know if anybody's yeah. going to be around. If anybody is going to be anywhere in the St. Louis metropolitan region on Friday, June second. The St. Louis Skeptical Society will be hosting a Skeptics in the Pub featuring a talk by Kathleen Dyer, PhD, Professor of Child and Family Services oh. at California State University, Fresno. Mm -hmm. The subject of her talk will be, uh, isn't it just common sense? Uh, she identifies some of the most widely held false beliefs about children and families and describes the social science research methods employed to expose them as false. Things such as, are oldest siblings more responsible? Does praise help yes. raise children's self-esteem? Do opposites attract? Sugar makes kids hyper. Right? Yeah. That's a big one. <laughs> uh, she says, bring your questions in, about children and families. Let's put our common sense to the test. It's a celebration of science in the interest of improving the everyday lives of ordinary people. Dr. Dyer considers why these false beliefs are so readily endorsed and so hard to dispel and provides evidence of strategies that can help challenge them. Is that gonna be recorded? Uh, I plan to record it. It probably will not be live streamed, but I plan to record it. Okay, that's that will be good. Then you can uh, I'd love out. to see that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I'd love the, to see the that easiest, too. The easiest place for me to point you for details on the event itself are just at my blog, cordialdeconstruction.com. Okay. Uh, it's the top article on that page. If anybody has a podcast that has any listeners that might be in the St. Louis area and feels like mentioning this between now and June 2nd on their podcast, that'd be appreciated, but it's not required. Good, very good. Okay. okay, so they're just getting getting going, getting started back to getting to normal. So yep. getting social. So and fantastic. I, I got a, very good. An, another so, thing in the works with uh, oh, not the well known skeptic, but a well known skeptic for November. Hmm. Not going to drop a hand. Who that is? I, I don't want to mention the name while it's being recorded because it's not a done deal yet. Okay. okay. Cool. Oh, I'm going to be going in uh, December, November and December. I am now going to be not only speaking in Australia, I'm going to be speaking in New Zealand wow. as well. It's been officialized. Wow. And I'm going to be in Australia. They've just dropped the name of one other speaker, and it's Melanie Crusher King. Oh, nice. I'm going to be spending some time, quality, quality time with them. That'll be great. Okay, so 
we're going to get started again. The only thing I'm going to mention, the two things. Yeah, there it is. Ah, Carl. <laughs> so uh, the two things I'm going to mention is if you guys want to stay a little later after the game is over and you want to talk about something, uh, the topic I want to talk about today is um, possibly coming up with a, a taking our trivia game that we're doing right now and taking the videos and changing them, altering them a little bit, coming up with a new name and putting out a YouTube channel just for trivia and just for the hell of it. And maybe it'll attract some attention. I don't know. So I want ideas and thoughts and stuff like that. So that's what I want to talk about after we're all done, just in case anybody's okay. listening. And Paula is here. She's very quiet right now, which is unusual. But Paula's <laughs> going to go on. Whatever. The Paula has just been given to the team with the score of seven. So, Paula. Are you <laughs> kidding me? No, <laughs> no pressure or anything. <laughs> <laughs> You're on the team. The team, your team name is Being Special Gets You 18 Years. So you're on with Ben, Carolyn, Jamie, Jim, well, Vincent, Faith, Adrian, and now Paula. So somebody's going to have to help. Oh. Can't have sounds it. like a sounds like a right. dream team. Do you have trivia <laughs> people for next week? And Please. I don't. I have Peggy for next week, but I'll really push it in a few minutes. So start talking about it and thinking about it. If you want to do a category for next week, right now I have Peggy, and I'll push it in a couple of rounds. So here we go, Rob Robert. Okay, so round three. Last week we had I'll be Bach, which gave me the idea to do this. <laughs> And if you don't recognize that, you're in trouble. Okay. The name Arnold Schwarzenegger's three girlfriends. This is all about the Terminator series. Right. Oh, and I thought it was your vision. I am in, I'm in I'm trouble. trouble. Big trouble. Trigger the mute. Me too. Okay. <laughs> we mute, were just talking muting, about the Terminator. Muting, How'd you write muting. those questions so quickly? Muting. <laughs> Who's muting? Brandy. Brandy still here? Brandy still here? I should turn yeah. my screen. She's right there. She's right there. Can't you see her? She's like no, right she's in my, Robin. She's on my second screen. As oh. you never realize, everyone is differently oriented in Zoom on every different piece. Where of everybody's born different. Uh, okay, question number one. How many theatrical films comprise James Cameron's Terminator franchise? Oh, okay. Oh, the category's called I'll Be Back. I thought you were saying you'll be back. And I thought, why is he saying he's going to be back when he's right there? Does that mean only those that Cameron was involved in or Terminator? Yeah, that was going to be his... my question, too. No, the Terminator, yeah. And then, like, if there have been any um, anime or, you know, cartoons I'm not aware of, no, theatrical releases with the name Terminator in them. Okay. Yeah. Number two, according to Terminator Judgment Day, released in July of 1991, what was the date of Judgment Day? When Skynet gained sentience and in response to its creator's attempts to deactivate it, triggered a nuclear holocaust. I had that date on my calendar that year, by the way. I wrote it down. Really? <laughs> Judgment Day, yes. <laughs> I remember that. And breathe a sigh of relief as we got past it. You are you're messing with me now. Number three. The budget for the second film in the franchise, Judgment Day, was somewhere between 94 and 102 million. What was the budget for the first film, plus or minus 20%? Uh, Number four. In the 2008 TV series, Terminator, the Sarah Connor Chronicles, this actor, who also starred in Firefly and Serenity, played the good Terminator, named Cameron after the franchise's creator. Number five, prior to The Terminator, James Cameron made his feature film directorial debut with a horror film which he tried unsuccessfully to have his name removed from. It has a 5% approval rating on Rotten Tomatoes and was a box office bomb. And according to Tim Healy in The World's Worst Movies, 
I think that's a documentary from 1986. The film is a strong contender for anyone's list of all-time horror turkeys. Name James Cameron's bomb. Quite amazing that he got to make the Terminator after that. Number six. After the release of The Terminator, a writer claimed that the screenplay was based on a short story and episode of The Outer Limits, which he had written, titled Soldier, and threatened to sue for infringement. In 1986, Orion settled for an undisclosed amount of money and added an acknowledgement credit to later prints of the film. And I did notice that when I saw it on Blu-ray recently. Cameron was against the settlement, but was told that if he did not agree to do it, he would have to pay the damages if Orion lost a lawsuit. Cameron has since said that he had no choice but to sign this agreement. Of course, there was a gag order as well, so I couldn't tell the story. I guess he means that he disagreed, but now I frankly don't care. It's the truth. So name that writer, which I actually saw at a convention, by the way. Number seven, I'll be back, was ranked 37th greatest line in movie history by the American Film Institute. But Schwarzenegger almost ruined what would have become what became his signature catchphrase because he had trouble pronouncing it. What version did Schwarzenegger unsuccessfully lobby Cameron to change it to? I will be back. I'll return. I will come back. Okay, never mind. Okay, never mind. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Number eight. Number eight is Orion Pictures co-founder Mike Metavoy originally offered the part of the Terminator to someone else. Cameron stopped the casting, saying to Metavoy, hey, Mike, bad idea. You're going to have this black athlete chasing this white girl around L.A. with a freaking knife and a gun. We're not doing that. Who could have been the Terminator? Oh, no, it's not. Oh, number nine. Skynet was the. AI villain in all the Terminator films until the most recent one, where due to a change in the timeline, Skynet was never built. In that film, the enemy AI's name was revealed to be what? And last but not leastly, the 64th Academy Awards earned Terminator 2, yeah, Terminator, Terminator 2, the, the, the second film in the franchise. Four awards, Best Makeup, Best Sound, Best Sound Effects Editing, and Best Visual Effects, as well as receiving nominations for Best Cinematography and Best Film Editing. In what way was this an Academy Awards first? Any questions? I thought it was about The Hobbit. <laughs> Go to the <goody> rooms. <laughs> there and back again. It's not about the Hobbit. <laughs> there seriously, is some time, seriously, some time, this category. Some time, some time this, travel. This, this about the Terminator. Seriously. Have <laughs> to relax. Either five or six. Six. Okay, I know one. So just let me have my the one I think I know. It's gonna be your fifteen minutes of fame. Well, yeah, I think it's I think number eight. So let me say what I think it is because it might be the only thing I ever get right. Okay, who was it? OJ Simpson. It was. <laughs> who would ever ask OJ Simpson to act in a movie? Well, O.J. Simpson did say, act in movies. Uh, horribly. No, would you say that yeah. Arnold Schwarzenegger is actually out of a paper acting? Bag. You call also, that acting? Understand that the acting oh, range required of the Terminator in the first movie was not great. <laughs> yeah, what, I heard, what I heard was that they canned the idea of O.J. Simpson because nobody believe, would believe a guy that nice could be the Terminator. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Yeah, he's chasing a, oh boy yeah that didn't age well well <laughs> if he had done it maybe he wouldn't have killed his wife his ex-wife nah. yeah 
No, I doubt it. <laughs> anyway, that, that's my one contribution to this whole game. So I will just sit back and, and twiddle my thumbs or something. Well, it was entirely correct. Oh, uh, number two, I don't know. Number three, I want to say the budget was probably around $16 million. I think that's a great guess. Wait, is Caspian the only one who knows any of these answers? Two, two, I, I, think I haven't read them yet. I just got here. Oh. Uh, it's two, about the August. Two is August 29, 1997. August 29th. Did you just count backwards or something? No, no. <laughs> He's really quiet. And all of a sudden, he comes up with the exact number like that. It makes me wonder. No, no. Number four, I can't remember her name. Oh, Summer Glau. Right, yes. Summer Glass, like that? G-L-A-U. What? G-L-A-U. G is in, you yeah, had the right, G is in golf. Golf Lima Alpha Uniform. Yep. There you go. <laughs> I don't get that stuff. I don't have any idea what number five is. Piranha 2, the spawning. Better you than me try try to figure out what it is they're saying <laughs> and how to spell it. Spelling doesn't matter. Check score, right? There we go. What's up with a name like that? It's a bad bad horror movie yes i'm surprised you'd be surprised that that would be the title is that like a cult film now or something uh i doubt That's it worse than a cult film how did no. you know it how did you know it existed you know, it's a big fan of piranha one See, a cult film is something that's actually popular yeah this one was popular no one bad. Yeah, I don't. I don't think that was ever going to be popular. <laughs> it's 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 only cultish in people who like really bad movies, like Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. Yes, <clears throat> the Bob. Does and the Rocky uh, Horror Picture Show? Does Kevin know number six? No. Oh, I thought you might know it. It's Harlan not Twilight Ellison. Zone. It's Outer Limits. It's Harlan Ellison. Oh. Uh, ah, science fiction writer. Yeah. Yes. Friend of friend of L. Ron Hubbard. Maybe not a real good friend, but co co author. I mean, um, contemporary of L. Ron Hubbard. <laughs> and Asimov. Lots of people contemporaries of L. Ron Hubbard. Well, they were all kind of. <laughs> Some people here were contemporaries of Elrond. <laughs> oh, they better be ancient. Wow. <laughs> it's a guy who was born in like 1911 or 13. Yeah. Well, I guess it depends on what you define as contemporary. Well, I meant like a writer, science fiction writer. He was publishing science fiction about the same time. Oh, yeah. Oh. Arlen Ellison was huge. Mm -hmm. What did he write? Martian Chronicles? That was Ray Bradbury. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. What do you write? So, what do we think? Uh, our repent Harlequin said the TikTok man. Hmm. Uh, number seven. Come on. City on the Edge of Forever. Yeah. I haven't read those. The City on the Edge of Forever was the episode of Star Trek with uh, where McCoy goes back in time. Largely considered the best episode of the series, even though Harlan Ellison hated the resulting episode and tried everything he did to get his name removed from it. He did. So question uh, seven, I bet it's B, I'll return. That's so different. That's what I that's what I thought too. That's such a different phrase. That sounds oh no, I actually I was thinking it was A. I will be back. Because, yeah, because I'll might be the the sticking point for a German speaker. Uh, I, I will <laughs> as you hear him say it it sounds the when he says I'll be back it's really strange I'll I thought it was I'll return but 
I think I think I'll return. I will be okay. back. And I will we have this discussion just last real week. nasty for native German speakers. Which one? Okay. Right. A and C would be nasty for German speakers. So I think I want to sound pass. Okay. Why well, they can't say will? Uh, I will come back. Oh yeah. Okay, I get it. Okay, I get it. Oh, the W is a V. Yeah. How would he say? I'll return. return. I'll return. The same way. I'll return. Yeah. So that sounds. Ah. Now that I hear him and saying it, that makes sense. What's wrong with I'll be back? Well, That's what he ended up saying. It might have been the double B sound. Be back. Hmm. Okay. Whatever. Okay, we got a nine. I have no idea. I've only seen the first two. Disney. <laughs> Somehow I don't think that's it's the it's the Florida version. And they would sue if you put their name <laughs> an evil AI. How about just Sarah Connor? Well, let's see, that's John Connor. Most recent film. I've only seen it once. Sarah? No idea. Sarah or John Connor? I'm not sure which one makes more sense. So the either. time travel movie got the got a got a rewrite. To well, where there is no time travel. To what? What? Stupid time travel movies. Stupid timelines. I was gonna make a funny chat GPT. <laughs> it's it, that's the name. GPT, whatever his name is. GTP. What is it? GTP? GPPG. GP. Something like that. Why, yeah. why is GPT? That's such a. It's probably an internal acronym and it was never intended to be something that would be right. referred to by that name in the publics. Right. You make me look it up. Mm hmm. I know this place called Wikipedia that it might be looking at. <laughs> <laughs> am I am I uh, cold reading you again? Making a second. Okay, wait. As much receiving a heart. Generative pre trained. What way was this in Academy Awards first? <laughs> Why was this in Academy Awards first? Makeup or... sound. Because there was not also a best film. No. What? Maybe it was because they got said, so many awards for the no. same. Film. No, because they got all these awards, but none of them were. They weren't even nominated for a best picture. Is that a? Could that well, be best a cinematography? Bad? Is a is one of the big awards. No, but they didn't get best picture. I mean, they Almost didn't get do. nominated for best picture, but yet they're nominated for everything else. That's what I'm saying. They weren't nominated for everything. This is all technical, except, well, cinematography is technical. I would say no movie had ever won those four before. But that makes some sense. That does make sense. Or. Yeah, that's reasonable. Rob wrote this question, you guys. I think we need to rethink that if we're looking for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> Let's argue some more. Wow, which way was this? The best makeup can go to anyone. You know Could what have I mean? been all females? The one the award? Or people? Could be. Could be. Oh. Just throwing that out there. Hmm. They could have all been um, non-American companies. Like they're all, you know, they were outsourced to other companies. Oh. America. What, Carl? Carl the was Terminator. Kidding. Terminator. Ter the first movie didn't win anything. How many sequels win awards when the when the previous movie won nothing? Ah. Uh... I'll bet you it's the first movie to win an Academy Award when it's when it's. As a sequel, movie in the series. As a sequel, didn't win anything. 
That's a good one. I like that one. Yeah, sounds good. So we got to come up with the names with, for Skynet, right? Wow. How about Connor? That's what I said, Sarah Connor uh, or John Connor. Yeah, well, that's, Connor. That, that's the movie prior to the recent movie, though. Oh, wait, that's an answer that for a real movie? I'm just guessing. The, pre the previous movie, yeah, John Connor was, was, was taken over and like half Terminator, half John Connor. So that's not the answer. Oh, come to... on. What is it? It's just, it sounds like they're just making shit up now. They are just making yeah, shit up. Yeah, it's that, a movie. Let's put it this way. None of the movies since Terminator 2 have really been any good. This Although the correct. most recent one is the best one since Terminator 2. So are they just like taking a bunch of ideas, throwing them in a hat and saying, let's pull this out and maybe do it this way? Pretty it's... much. I mean, the Nobody movie before the most recent awful. one was like total, like completely off. You would love it because it like goes deeper down the time travel rabbit hole and completely eradicates all all the previous movies. So by me liking it, you mean I would hate it. Exactly. You would hate it. Thank you. Just <laughs> for all those listeners out there. Who I, I hated it. Oh my God. Did you get up and walk out? No. You I was watching it at home video. Did you get up at home and get up and walk? No. I got to get out of this house. Did you leave it running so that you could say? No, I, I, I had to see how much, how bad, if it was going to get any worse. One of those things that you got to, you got to hate watch it. Once you start. <laughs> Did you throw anything at the TV? No. Oh. How about something like Amazon or Gates, Bill Gates or something like that? You know, no, well, it, it wouldn't be it, anywhere it, near that on the nose. No. No. Plus they'd get sued to death. Yeah. How about they called it Skynet? No, but they could have made a deal with like Elon Musk or something, you know? Twitter? Publicity. <laughs> they could have called it Trump. He put his name on anything. What did we put? No, that already be used in, in. Yeah, but they wouldn't. The studio wouldn't dare do something like that. So do you? So you guys are keep acting as if we know the answer. Like it could be something we could reason out. It might be something like. If I hear I'll, it, I'll know it, but I don't remember. It might be something like Fido. Yeah, it could be something that we you only know it if you know it, not something we're reasoning it out. Oh, no, I, 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 I don't think we'll get into it. Well, it could be okay, so instead too. of Skynet, it's OceanNet. Or, are there any other company names that were in the earlier Terminator films that might have risen to be an AI company um, if well, the, they changed the timeline? That's, that's logicking it out, Troy. Well, yeah, the Skynet guy, was, the guy who had the Cyberdyne arm. systems. Cyberdyne. Cyberdyne? But I don't think that's the answer. But it's it's better than no answer. I think it's better. What than did we answer for number three? Sixteen million. million? Okay. I just didn't have it written down. Oh. Okay. I like the name Cyberdyne. Name it next uh, pet after it. Cyberdyne. What, what, what was Cyberdyne? It's illegal to name your pet Cyberdyne. <laughs> was I, Cyberdyne I think I had Cyberdyne in my fictional companies trivia. Was Could it Cyberdyne be because of the Terminator? Oh. Wait. So, was Cyberdyne one of the companies in the earlier movies? And if yes. so, what yes. were they? What was their product or service? Spartanega. Well, eventually they made the Terminator. It it oh. in Terminator Two they break into Cyberdyne laboratories to steal the pieces of the original Terminator that they were attempting to backward engineer. Ah, maybe they named it Arnold. Yeah, after Schwarzenegger <laughs> or Schwarzenegger. So oh, was Cyberdyne named it after a, his wife. Um, uh, what do you call it? Competitor to Skynet. Was no, Skynet was eventually produced by Cyberdyne. Oh, was it? <laughs> yeah. Huh. Cyberdyne is the only company of any relevance in those early films that I can yeah. recall. 
Everything okay. else is irrelevant. Okay. So you're saying that's a good answer? I mean, it's better I'm than saying not. it's better than a blank space. <laughs> Nobody I'd be shocked knows. if it's the answer, but it's yeah. I don't think nothing. it's the answer either. It's probably O.J. Simpson. <laughs> I, I think it's Simpson. Yeah, <laughs> he's used twice. O.J.F. one, or it could be one of those things where it's a, not just an in joke, but it's an acronym that stands stands for all lawyers are morons. I don't know. <laughs> I, I think the company name should be. Hey, I resemble that remark. In this room, be nice. I I'm not meaning that in that sense, but I recall <laughs> there was a From incident where someone they named it Narnia. Named a product that it was Narnia. I think it was Apple. I don't think we're actually going to pull this one out of thin air. Well, funny if we we've discussed it and it's one of these things we've come up with. I like the line in, in uh, Shawshank Redemption. Lawyer fucked me. <laughs> <laughs> They're all in prison because the lawyer fucked them. It's <laughs> yeah. one reason why I never would practice criminal law ever, ever, ever. Mm -hmm. We seem to be missing our question and answer guy. <laughs> no, I'm here. There he is. Is anybody, uh, Susan's, is Susan here? I don't see Susan. Yeah, I do yep. see Susan. I'm here. here. Okay, so let's see how well you know, or at least if you had a, a, a ringer in the room, the Terminator series. So I saw um, a lot of people got a lot of these right but there were some wrong so number one there are currently i don't know if they're going to make another one because the last one did not do well at all there have been six yay kyle all right nice oh starting off hmm. starting off right and the reason i had judgment day written on my calendar was because it was the day before my 40th birthday and if judgment day happened i was going to miss making 40 by one day august 29th 1997. Wow. wow anybody get that wow. Yep. Uh, yeah. yeah. We have to have the, uh, we have to have the date too. Yeah. Of was there course. any significance given uh, to that date? Can you give like plus or minus 50? No, it's the day. <laughs> it's repeated numerous times in multiple things. It's a famous day in the series. August 29th, 1997, the day the world ends. Did anybody get it? Yes. 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 Okay, so there we go. It's not impossible. Circle to my calendar. I died. <laughs> <laughs> the budget the budget for the second film in the franchise was a hundred or so million dollars the first was only 6.4 wow 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 it was wow. Really gone with your answer Karen. Why? Five, five to seven ish there's but a how movie. much did schwarzenegger get paid that's a that's a key that's a point. good question it wasn't really that big back then oh. no the first movie he was not big at all yet no, really. an, uh, unknown guy really really a uh, number number four okay so uh, i used the generic term as to not give it away that it was an actually an actress but a lot of actresses call themselves actors so i thought that was fair it is an actress named summer glau who Yay. played yeah. river tam and river uh, tam yep yes remember that yeah. character river yeah she was bizarre she was great in serenity yeah i remember that uh, yeah, she was like the primary uh, catch on all the posters, interestingly, with a sword in her hand. All right, number five. I am going to share my screen on this one. <laughs> so here's the poster for the movie. Piranha 2, The Spawning. It's uh, as uh, oh. We asked, we Everybody asked get why, that? yeah, yep. Caspian yeah. and Carl knew this one. All right. I figured they would. <laughs> What are those piranhas so upset about? <laughs> I did not know this. This is all Carl. Uh, <laughs> it's all Carl. You, I heard you say it. I have no, it on I video. I do not want to be associated with that knowledge. <laughs> I have never heard of this film before. Oh, I thought you said you knew it. All right. Oh, he said it I'm going to go back and watch the video before. again. We'll see. But it's right. so bad, even he doesn't know it. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Number six. So I, I met this person at a Star Trek convention. 
and he was known as a very cantankerous writer. Oh, I know who it is now. A lot, right? <laughs> he he got mm. pissed about the city on the edge of forever. This is Harlan right. Ellison. Yes. Oh, yes. Thank you, Paula. Good we guess. Got that. All right. Very good. Yes, we got that. Oh, I, see, I, I told you. Too. I brought. I put thought of him. Paula and your team. There you go. <laughs> Thank you, Paula. Kyle, we were so close in our. We forgot him. Tom the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy was the first thing, and I'm so pissed I missed that one. Yeah, we, we needed you then, Paula. <laughs> That's why you guys are in last place now. <laughs> I, w I was in a line to have <laughs> autographs by Harlan Ellison. And <laughs> the kid in front of me walked up with a really battered uh, paperback. I can't remember the title of it, but he handed it to Ellison to be signed. Ellison looked at it, ripped it in half, and dropped it in the <laughs> That is, that is Harlan. What an a hole! What? Yeah. He said it's the worst thing I've ever written. I am I'm not signing it. I hope that kid pulled it back out of that trash can because that's performance art. Wow! Oh no, should have left it in the trash can and carried it out, and that would be an art piece. <laughs> All right, number seven, the famous catchphrase, the thirty-seventh greatest lines of movie. I'll be back. Arnold had trouble with the uh, contraction, yep. so he wanted yeah. it to be "I will be back." Be Yay! Oh, darn it! How oh, yeah. <laughs> Caspian had to do it in German for us. So, did you? Oh no! Did we get that right? No. Oh, never mind. He did it in German anyway, but it, and he sounded horrible when he tried to do the "will." All right, and number eight, I am going to share my screen. Video, you guys. See if anyone got number eight. Yep. Jay. It's yeah. OJ. I got oh, that one. Oh, we did actually get we it. We did put that down, show. right, Gail? Mm. Yeah. yeah. We did. We for that for the younger people watching, that is not Lenny Kravitz. <laughs> <laughs> so the story for the younger people this, watching, <laughs> they'll have to look up who Lenny Kravitz is. The story I heard about this was that they not only canned OJ for the reason stated, but also because nobody would believe that this not, that nice guy would be the... <laughs> <laughs> we put it down but we thought it was a joke we did <laughs> that's the only one that i knew is yeah. that one I it's, it's, it's gotta really be unbelievable. especially his quote that he said he had this black mm. athlete chasing the white girl around yeah. la with a freaking knife <laughs> Holy oh. crap. he got the idea oh. he got an oh. idea maybe that's why he did it he said all right nobody Number will nine. believe it Number nine. Mm. So I, I saw the movie and was really pissed that they got rid of Skynet, frankly. And the name is Legion. Yay, Kyle. Oh. Legion. We had Chat GPT, but <laughs> we almost put Chat GTP too. I thought of that. <laughs> we came up with like 50 things. We could not come up with anything. And number 10. So what do people think about that? I think yeah. we got it. Yeah. We had three really good guesses, and I think we got the right answer, but we had some good. Yes. So this was, I heard somebody mentioned Godfather 2 and all that. Well, the thing was Godfather 1 won Academy Awards. The thing was, this was the first sequel to win an Academy Award when its predecessor had not even ever been nominated for one. Yep. No. We got it. Oh. Got it. It's also the first time that uh, film won a number of awards equal to the Q brood of the ceremony year. <laughs> <laughs> it will take that as the other answer. If you get it. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> that's good kyle i'm glad we have that i we were thinking that it, we had some good answers one was um first time those four awards had won only you know and then another i was there might have been all women who had been the recipient or whatever it was that was a that was a discussion that was weird but <laughs> Yeah, it, well, it, it was almost obvious, almost, uh, it's hard to say that because I know the answer, but looking at the, the thing with the budget of the two films, and like you could tell, like, you know, one was just a nothing throwaway film, let's see if anyone likes this, and the other one was, they put a lot of money into it because they wanted it to be a blockbuster. Yeah, we had said that the, it was the most technical awards without any performance awards. Mm, that's a good idea. Yeah, that's what we had, too. Carl was just kind of staring at it for a little bit and all of a sudden it like dawned on him that there was no no awards for the first one. Mm -hmm. And not even nominations. That mm -hmm. was the point. Okay. Scores. Well, that was interesting. Yay. I had a little more fun than I thought I would. Why do you think there are scores? 
Oh, look at Bob's <laughs> falling asleep on his chicken. Oh, <laughs> that's so cute. Look, <laughs> I'm going to cuddle with my chicken. Who fell asleep first, Bob or the chicken? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not falling asleep. Oh, you kind of look like it. Or He's you singing to it. Side. All right. So, oh, where should we start? Let's start down here. Being special gets you 18 years. But it doesn't give us high scores. We got a four. But Paula was on your team. <laughs> and she gave us uh, one of the points. Alexa, Alexa, raise the ceiling debt. No, Alexa, debt raise the debt ceiling. Nothing. To be fair, Susan, we got, we got a four on the first two questions. Five, because he said we get the point for the math one. All right, then. <laughs> Alrighty, then. All right, DeSantis would be a disaster. I never thought that I would say this, but thank you, OJ. We got one. <laughs> wow. Oh, no. for something. Hey, we're tied now. <laughs> Woohoo! Oh, Stop no. the count. <laughs> I swear, Stuart's 18 roads to perdition were years in the making. Seven. Seven. Oh, we are fighting again. We we can, we just keep fighting, you guys. Um, if Santos is the answer, you are asking the wrong question. We had six. Oh, Whoa. oh. so I, I'm so did, is, 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 I can't see my whole screen now. Is Richard is Richard's not here anymore? Is Richard no? Richard's still here. He's sleeping Richard on the not, couch. Richard did not know Terminator. Usually, he's good with sci-fi. Oh. Some people say Terminator is <laughs> not sci-fi. Mm, they're wrong. Okay. Okay. No. See, but what that they doesn't it? mean I, you know, absorb, and I'm not in any of them. It's a horror. He's not in them. <laughs> well, and, and to be to be honest, some of the questions weren't really about Terminator. They were adjacent to Terminator. Oh, they were you know, can you picture the, Richard Saunders or... as the as the Terminator mm. chasing a woman around? <laughs> sure, better than OJ. <laughs> You could do but it. Richard's yeah. too nice. Could, he would never be able to pull it wait, off. Wait, wait, why, why would a Terminator have an Australian accent? Yeah, how would you say it's that? It's okay Richard? for him to be say, from Austria, though. Hey, I'll be back, Rich, Richard. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you mean, like Steve Irwin? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, in exaggerated Australia. I'll be back. <laughs> wait, do it again. Yeah. I didn't hear it. Somebody was saying, talking, what? That's worth Mikey, a million bucks. I'll be back. <laughs> Crikey. 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 I'll be back. <laughs> okay, round Terminator. Four. Now round... that's the Terminator. All right. Okay. Round four. Round four. All right. Do so, this, you guys. Uh, all right. These, we need to speed this up. We're only in round four. These, as may be um, obvious from, from my leftovers, these are uh, leftovers questions from 10 of my previous categories. Leftover mean, left right. meaning you didn't ask, ask them, but they were like, Question that is, eleven. That is correct. Right, and I will tell you where each one was from, and then give it. So the first one is from my space travel way back in February of twenty one. Oh my God! How many times did the Soviet Buran orbiter uh, Knockoff, <laughs> spit spelling of the U.S. space shuttle fly in space? Knockoff. I like that. They do look very similar. Number two, from extraterrestrials from also uh, 21. This is a 2020 documentary which features interviews with government officials, including former Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid, Clinton White House Chief of Staff John Podesta, and former Deputy Undersecretary for Defense Intelligence Christopher Mellon. In the film, Reid is asked about evidence for extraterrestrials and replies, most of it hasn't seen the light of day. Name of this film. Do that with an Australian accent. Well, that wouldn't be Crikey, Harry Reid. From conspiracy theories from 21. Also, conspiracy theorists believe that victims and family members of mass shootings and similar traumatic events are sometimes portrayed by people hired to do so. What is this group of people called? Number four. From Flat Earth. Also from 21. What year was the International Flat Earth Research Society established? I'm going to give you plus or minus 10 years on that. 
Number five, from religions, from May of 21, which religion are these terms associated with? Ishvara, Vedas, and Samsara. I probably botched the pronunciations. Number six. And by the way, the first time I did this, one of the religions was Scientology, Troy, as I recall. Number six, from sci-fi planets from June of 21, which sci-fi franchise are these planets associated with? Abydos, Celestis, Chulak, Dakara, Lante, and Vorash. From my category on New Jersey, which I did in August of 21, New Jersey has two major league hockey teams. Name one of them. Number eight, from Bible verses from August 21. This is an actual Bible verse, true or false? Do not wear clothing woven of two kinds of material. That was a fun one. 10 true or false questions about Bible verses. Number nine, from my accidental inventions from January of 22. Walter Hunt played around with some wire and discovered that when coiled, it could clasp to itself and unclasp again. What invention are we talking about there? And number 10, from my recent Netherlands cruise ship, which I spelled wrong, trivia, just earlier in the month, which is not a Dutch football team, Ajax, PSV, Feyenoord, or FIBO. Something for everybody. Any questions? Okay, go to your rooms. So on number one, I would say zero because I don't remember that thing ever flying it in space. It went up one. It went oh, up once? one. Yep. Okay, one. All right. I'm assuming knockoff means they kind of miss landing and it bounces. No, knockoff means they they made it, they copied the space shuttle. <laughs> They, they ripped it off. Oh, that kind of knock off. Yeah. <coughs> knock it off, guys. <laughs> one. Yes, two, one. Oh, so the answer is one. Is that what you're yeah, saying? One. Oh. Yep. <laughs> one test flight, uncrewed. Right. That was it. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, uncrewed. Yep. Okay. No wonder it wasn't like a big thing in the news. Yeah. They didn't risk any humans. And then years later, it was destroyed when a hangar collapsed. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, I think there were two, and one of them was destroyed. But only one of them flew. I love hearing nerds argue with each other. <laughs> it's a spectator sport in some places. <laughs> I'm a spectator. Uh, Anybody for number two? No. No idea. Can we skip the three? It's the movie they don't want you to hear about. <laughs> Number three is Crisis Actors, right? Ah, yes. yes. That's Good word. I oh, I was like trying to concentrate on that. Yeah. Oh, that kind of group, not the conspiracists. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yep. Um, no uh, idea. It's old. It's older than most people think. I don't know when. I want to say fifty. Oh, I would, I would, I would have said it's more recent than that. But well, you know. now I remember hearing about the Flat Earth Society when I was in high school, and this would have been in the in the late seventies. Yeah, I remember. But, it. I but think this is not necessarily the 
Flat Earth Society. My guess, is, my guess is, is 1947. This... That's my guess. Okay. Really? Okay, so if we're going to do plus and or it minus could be even years. older because there was someone wrote about this a long time ago, but I don't know if they actually formed a society. If we can do plus or ten or minus what, ten, what years. year did you suggest, Kevin? Forty-seven, nineteen forty-seven. Same year as Roswell. Sure. And so my only question is, is the International Flat Earth Research Society, is that different from the Flat Earth Society, which I remember the name of it was the Flat uh, Earth Society. No Maybe idea. there's a newer thing called the International Flat yeah, Earth Research Society. That could be a trick question. Yeah. Could be. Number five is Hinduism. Yeah, that's I agree. I wrote that down. Absolutely agree. It's whatever Deepak Chopra does, whatever. No, it has nothing to do with Deepak Chopra at all. No, but whatever he something 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 whatever <laughs> he uses those okay. words. I know six. Is that Star Trek? Nope, Stargate. F G one. Oh, Stargate. Would seven, six New Jersey Devils, New Jersey yep. Devils. We got that from yep. last week. I can't think of the other one. I think well, there's a minor league team in Trenton, but that's not major. So, so, I mean, we don't, we only need to know the one anyway, right? Is there any possibility that it's one of those things like the fact that the Giants and the Jets actually play in New Jersey? Could it be well, in New York? The Rangers play at Madison Square Garden and okay. the Islanders play in on Long Island. Island. Long Island. Yeah. Unless Philly is in New Jersey, but I don't think so. Anyway. Eight is true. I think that's true, yeah. I would agree. How would you do that? I think number nine is the slinky. That's what I was thinking. That sounds right. And eight is true. Yeah. <laughs> I always think of the slinky, but does it clasp to itself and unclasp that, that, it? It doesn't clasp. sound like a slinky to me. No, it doesn't, but it sounds, parts to sounds me. more like a safety pin. Ah, oh, let's see. Ah, safety pin. Paper clip. Or what about what about a paper clip? You don't clasp paper clip. Binds things together, but it doesn't clasp to itself. But it doesn't. You don't. You don't use it again. You don't use it again. Around with a um, safety pin. Safety pin could be the answer. But you don't really mess yeah. around with the wire of a safety pin. No, but you if you're brave. But when you the coil it, it is a piece of bent wire. It's it very it's stiff a, wire. Uh, yeah, it's got a little spring in it. It's, it's got it's, a circle. Yeah, he probably know. twisted a piece that did that, and then said, "If I put a little clip on the end." I can make it a safety pin. I think you're right. I think the safety pin is right. That sounds right. I'd go with safety pin. Delete the slinky. That was my first thought, though. My same too. And cool. I wonder if that's what other people are thinking. I have no idea for 10. Your guess is as good as mine. I, I, I don't follow soccer. I don't either, but I want to say Ajax is a team that I've seen this somewhere. Oh. Uh, that, that I... I think you are correct. It, it sounds familiar. I bet FIBO is not. Okay. It just doesn't sound Dutch. The other ones do. I, I agree with me. you. That the, the letters, there's, there's often like letter teams. So I could buy PSV being a team. Yeah, exactly. So we said 1947 for the flatter. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> but we can do plus or minus 10 years so is that how about we push it forward five years that'll cover 47 but it'll also get us into the 60s okay so 1952 yeah okay i i'm fine with either of those so 52 is good. you could also do 1957 we well how about 1955 that way it'll cover the end of the war and go into the 60s. I don't think the or society would have been established during the war because it's unlikely people I agree with that thinking about people didn't stuff. didn't have such 
Um, yeah, there was there was something so about a book when they first talked about this that was in the 1800s, but I, I don't think it was a society that was formed. It was just somebody who wrote about it in a book. 55. My very distinct impression in, when I heard about this thing in high school was that it was a sort of a, it was really like a fraternity drinking society where you would go <laughs> to the pub and bullshit each other <laughs> about how the earth is flat. <laughs> it's like birds aren't real too. That's yeah, exactly. I yeah. Oh. Um, I never dreamed in a million years that they would ever take. I don't think they were taking themselves seriously then. I, Have I you think seen the was, model? Were they? I always yeah. assumed the original founders didn't were not taking it seriously, and that. Yeah, I thought that they, they thought it was a joke, because nobody back then would believe something that stupid. <laughs> yeah, but way way back, they they actually believed that. We wrote on the back of a turtle. <laughs> it was that, a turtle. That's going way back. <laughs> yeah, way back. Yeah, I think plenty of people would have believed the Earth was flat, but the sort of people who form and join clubs society, are yes, not exactly. going to be the sort of people who. Uh, Rob, is Rob here? Do we have a number oh. two. Okay. We got nothing to remember. Rob and move him to. Ethan Romero's room. Well, so think of some documentary movie related to extraterrestrials. Terminator I... 2. <laughs> oh, was that a document? The problem is I tend to give zero attention to those. It's documents. not a documentary only because we managed to go back in time and prevent right. Skynet from turning it into a documentary. <laughs> exactly. Mm hmm this is how it works. Ah. How about, is, wasn't there a movie or something called like Area 61 or whatever 51. that number is? Huh? Area 51, yeah. 51. Sure that... I'm sure there have been plenty. <laughs> Area 52, the spawning. Something for everyone? Area 51 is just a front designed to distract people from the real thing that's Area 52. Hmm. What do we come up for 10, Troy? D. Nebo, okay. Do you guys know that or are you just guessing? We're, We're guessing. guessing. We reasoned into it. Yeah. We got reasoned into it. True. Or, or spitballed into it, you know, whatever. I, I like that. I would well then we need three, I'm, right? Number three. Yeah. Good night. Got nothing for two. What do you have planned for tomorrow? Oh, number two. I don't know. What do you have planned? Hey Mark. Hey. Hi, Mark. Hi, everybody. Hello. How's it going? Good. So which came first, the chicken or the egg? Uh, the egg. <laughs> okay. I was just thinking about that. I don't know. And it's the, the, the evolution of birds. We were talking about chickens earlier. So I think they were probably thinking you're talking Where about Where did the egg come from if it didn't come from a chicken? <clears throat> it came from a, a chicken-like ancestor that came from a slightly less chicken-like ancestor all the way back to reptiles, all the way back to amphibians, all the way back to fish. I think it was brought by a swan. Well, it has to be the egg because there were dinosaur eggs and there were eggs right. and eggs and eggs way before there were chickens. Yep. So the before a chicken evolved, I can't believe you guys have an intellectual conversation. I, I, that's why I came in here. I thought I would just throw that into the mix. We are the people of the egg. <laughs> the egg man. All right. I'm gonna thanks. make the I'm gonna make the flat egg society. Thanks for clearing that up. <laughs> oh, damn it. You cook well, it in a pan, and now it's a flat Caspi, egg. were you drinking something whenever he said that? <laughs> um, depends on whether you count eating applesauce to be drinking or eating. It is considered... That, that's the whole philosophical, if you're going into philosophical discussion. And how thick is the applesauce? Um, if you could drink it with three. a straw. In the morning. Is I, it apple I juice it or applesauce? I'm going to guess for two. That's, yeah, whatever. Yeah. That's fine. I'm comfortable with whatever you want to put there. 
What do you want to guess? Area 51? Oh, okay. Is that a film? I don't know. If I was going to name one, I would have oh. that subject. You know, what's, maybe that you, know what's bigger, you know what's bigger and better than Area 51? What? Area 52. <laughs> what about Area volume 52. 53? I like to say that to my friends, kids in scout camp, they were saying stuff, you know, say, hey, you know who's bigger than Blink 182? I go, oh, I don't know, I Blink 183. And they, I drive them nuts. You know who's bigger than 10,000 maniacs? 10,001 maniacs. <laughs> you know it's better than 101 Dalmatians 102 yeah. Dalmatians <laughs> none ah <laughs> oh, come on you love better than 101 Dalmatians 101 cats mm -hmm. hey. no, no it's what's bigger what's bigger than 101 Can you imagine Dalmatians? the way the house would smell if it had 101 cats yeah, you say something like 101 you Dalmatians guys... the Titanic 101 Savannah cats the Titanic is bigger than 101 Dalmatians yeah. So it was an aircraft carrier. Yeah, yeah, but that takes longer to You know, silvers are black and then turn silver over the first year and a half or so. You wander into these conversations and it's like, what the heck? Okay. It's a dog's face. Oh, um, um, Avi, Avi uh, expresses his apologies. He had to go. So we'll hopefully see him in another year or year and a half or something. Aww. Unless he can't sleep. Unless he can't sleep some night, he'll come join. Tell him I'll feed her, Zane. I'll feed her, Zane. Lee, is that a llama snout? No, it's a poodle. Poodle. Oh, that's right. Your poodle puppy. Yep. He's got like 19 dogs. Every but Alan, possible. Alan, I can't, I can't look at your caption there without thinking that you're announcing your pregnancy. I know. Alan Steiner is with child. Alan Steiner, Alan. Okay. Barren. Answers. Rob Answers. is barren. Okay. Actually, actually I Answers. do have a pregnant llama that's Run. ten days okay. overdue. So. Oh, she still she hasn't had that thing yet. Oh my God. Answer, Susan. Oh, we're yeah. doing answers. Answers. Yeah. Wow. That's oh, okay. So, so as, as, proof, as, pr as proof that memory is not very good, Jamie, this is the brand <laughs> being brought to the launch pad. That's the brand being yeah. launched into space. That's the brand being launched into space. And that's it coming back down. Oh, uh, so, so it did come up. Yep, Is there anybody flew, aboard? It flew once into space. Uh, okay. Jamie was absolutely positive it never flew anywhere oh, no. except on the back of a uh, airplane. Back of a plane. I believe well, it was on is... I believe it was unmanned. Was it, it was uh, uh, is that plus or minus one? No. We get <laughs> no. Sorry. The answer is one for that. The oh, correct right. answer is one. Right. Um, so, unfortunately, uh, somebody actually saw this movie and they didn't remember the name of it with uh, Harry Reid. Uh, was <laughs> The Phenomenon. Oh, we got it. Oh, oh. Phenomenon. Leonard, <laughs> 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 you're amazing. You're no, no, kidding. No, no. <laughs> That's absurd. Nice, Alan. <laughs> Number three. Thank uh, you, Bill. Everyone should have got this one. It's in the news all the time. Crisis actors. Uh, yeah. I could not come up with it. God horrible, dang horrible. it. I was staring at it. I kept coming up with false flag, and it was just hitting my head like false flag. Uh, yeah, well, crisis <laughs> actors are hired to perform false flags. Yes. Oh, that would oh, be there you go. Well, Cass uh, came up with it. But, but not I, all I, false flags <laughs> involve crisis actors. That's true. Number four, Flat Earth. Uh, the International Flat Earth Research. This is the original one. I heard people arguing whether or not it was the original one. Uh, one year before I was born, 1956. Wow. Uh, oh. You're that old? Oh, my God. You're ancient. He's that young. He's a young puppy. Did anybody get that? Yep. Yes. Yeah. 1955. Uh, he said, I think it's it one fun. year off of Rob Palmer's age. <laughs> yes. Um, I thought, originally thought it was 47. So, but we changed it to 55. Okay. So Gosh. religions, yeah, I actually didn't include this one because I thought it was the most obvious from the way the words sound. It's, uh, there's an Indian words, it's Hinduism. Yay. Yeah. That's why I left it off the first time. Um, the planets were not obscure. At least two of those are mentioned a no. lot. Uh, yes. Abydos, especially, it's Stargate. And Chulak. Oh, Stargate yeah. and Chulak. Yeah, Chulak. Yeah. It jumps yeah. out like a sore thumb. And, and, and the car in the last few episodes or seasons. Yeah. 
So, um, yeah, and so I, I for, totally forgot that Adrian mentioned the New Jersey teams last week. So <laughs> hopefully everybody got this point. Yeah. It's the New Jersey Devils and the Metropolitan Riveters. What? Uh, who? Who? That's who? There's, no, where, there's no such team. The Riveters? I, I'm <laughs> riveted in my seat. There's only one team in Jersey. There's only one team in New Jersey in the major league team hockey, and that's the Devils. <laughs> the is yeah, they, they, yeah, there is are only one professional women's hawk, ice hockey team. There we go. In the, there we go. Don't don't be patriarchal. No, no, no. There, that's not major. major we're talking about major league hockey. We're not talking <laughs> about uh, oh. Mickey Mouse. Well, that's the top level of women's hockey. So there you go. Oh, thank you, Caspian. Mm -hmm. Rosie, the Caspian. There we go. Yeah. Did not know this before looking it up. <laughs> whoever, whoever said they weren't take a point off no matter what you said number Ooh. eight, number eight uh, is in fact true the bible Yay. cares all knowing Yay. omnipotent yeah, yeah. lord of the universe cares what kind of clothes you wear and how to make it, it. does that's not, not a quote, a quote. it is not, not wear it it is not wear it it depends on your version no it doesn't that's not what it says no it doesn't there's a there's a bazillion versions of the Bible. What are you talking about? Yeah, and it, it's the it, right version. It says um, wool and linen. It mentions the two different um, fabrics. It does not say two kinds of material. Okay, so did you put did you answer it the other way because of that? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It had it true until until Len, um, Leonard pointed out that that was not the exact words, and it says quote, and it's in quotation marks. Okay. Well, All right. So, well, it so, actually was wrong. in Aramaic, so wrong. it doesn't say there's any of those. Things. Yeah, you need to say yeah. It. Yeah. but it will not translate <laughs> to that. This is why it was question eleven and got thrown off. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I don't know. Hey, I, I just googled it and I found it in numerous places, but it's okay as long as you if you knew the concept and you were you get thinking, over point. You're thinking I was being tricky. I wasn't being tricky. You can get the point. That's good. So the answer is true or false. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> you know the as long no. as you knew what it meant. Only if you you can interpret it any way you want, Bible. just like the Bible. Yeah, there you go. It's, it depends whether you have shame or not, that's all. <laughs> oh, we're playing this game. <laughs> Number nine. We have so, no shame. Walter Hunt is the mostly unknown uh, inventor of a thing used by uh, pretty much everybody at some point, the safety pin. Yes! Nice. Oh, Carl got it. Yeah. Yeah. Well done. Good Good job. Job. Thanks, Bill. Really figured that one out. Uh, Walter <laughs> Did he make any money off of it? Uh, I don't know. Uh, but, you know, Walter Hunt is one of the unknown geniuses who invented all sorts of things he invented a sewing machine among other things mm -hmm. wow. wow how about a train no train <laughs> number 10 finally just from a few weeks ago which is not a dutch football team and i heard a team get this right but not for the right reason necessarily uh fibo is a fast food restaurant in the netherlands Damn. Hey. Good. so it's d Yes, it is D. So they didn't name a football team after a. Basketball. Someone someone said it was a football team in another country, which maybe I don't know, but. FIBO. 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 We play FIBO. Oh, okay, FIBO. scores. Oh, oh well, man. before we get to scores, I have to fill up next week. I mean, my gosh, well, we can't play trivia if we're just gonna come here and hang out and talk and argue. I mean, who who who'd, who'd watch that? Celia, are you up for it yet? No, she's got to go know, five times before we let her in. Oh, Ooh, is that a rule? Is that a rule? It now. Yeah, it is a rule. <laughs> oh. Because we don't, we are, there's nuance to writing these things. It's quirky. And they we are pretty quirky. New. They and are... there's a whole bunch of rules. So is that you volunteering, Janine? Oh, no, nothing no. before the wedding. Nothing before the wedding. Thank you. All right. Who else? I could probably squeak one out. Okay, Robin, Peggy. That's what he said. <laughs> <laughs> Every see they've learned. Caspian's waving his hand. I think that means him. Lee's laughing. No, Lee hasn't I'm been here five weeks. Way too busy. Okay, Lee's not. Lee's on time three. Mm -hmm. I'm keeping track. No, he's just laughing at my. 
infantile. You know, I've got this thing. If people start waving their hands, they get volunteered. So you'll see the people who've been around a while. They've always got their hands down. Like it's, it's like bidding which on a which $10 million dollar you're planning on doing that you the didn't whole week mean to bid on. <laughs> well, no. Uh, next week isn't the isn't the. I'm just which when is the week you're planning on? Doing oh, okay, that? that's a good point. The week I'm here and I'm doing the whole week is going to be next week. No, it isn't next week. What is it? It's in June. June. Somewhere I wrote it down. June eighth. Oh, oh, the fifteenth. June fifteenth. I could take all of June eighth. Woohoo! Ooh, bummer. Yeah. Well, I can do next week, but I just did one last week. Usually I do one every two months. Yeah. You know, I'm always ready to do one, Susan, and I, okay. I do a bonus. I haven't done one a bonus in a long time. How about Gail do bonus and Karen can do next mm -hmm. week? Okay. Well, that's good to me. I still need one more. Faith. 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 <laughs> so this no, is how I got so shit on my plate for the next 21 days. Sorry. Yeah. This is how it gets. No, sometimes they really volunteer. Like, like I don't have to volunteer them. Pressure. Under pressure. Okay. I'm going to go to this. We're going to go to the next it. one. This I'll do Kevin? it. Kevin? Yay, yeah. Kevin. Oh, thank you. I was say, Susan, speaking of all those comments about the guy with child, your towel over your shoulder for towel day makes me think of, you know, the burp spit up. <laughs> towel. Like moms burp. always oh, have oh, over their poor shoulder. Baby. You know what? Now, now that you remind me, I wore those for years. Oh my gosh. I was going to say that moms perpetually, oh. constantly have over their have, shoulder. We knew where our towels were. Trust me. Yeah. <laughs> When you just did that, Caspian burped. <laughs> I mean, I have this picture of my mom with that over her shoulder, like huge portion of my childhood. It's just, you know, there was always a baby to burp. And I've been to a lot of baby showers, so. How many, how many kids were in your family, Celia? Four. Oh. Four, okay, four. So not, I mean, not, it wasn't huge, but enough to, you know, plus, I don't know, it seemed like she, we always had friends or babysitting or just seemed like there were always, always babies around. <laughs> Gaseous ones. Yeah. All right. We ready for the bonus. <laughs> yes. We have to do scores first. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, okay. You ready? Score. For me, aren't you, huh? I forgot what I was doing. <laughs> I'm burping the baby. I'm burping the baby. Okay. So we've got, it's <laughs> interesting. Look, we've got a tie. Wow. Here. And then we've got almost a tie here. And then we've got this group in here. Okay. So let's see. Okay. DeSantis would be a disaster. Six. Wrong, wrong column. Thank you. My mouse moved on me. It's, it's, it's lost some cheese. All right. Being special gets you 18 years. Nine. Ooh. What? Oh, wah, wah, wah. Not in last place. Uh huh. <laughs> That's right. Good job. Okay. So, Alexa, raise his dirt feeling. A six. I'm sorry. I don't understand that. <laughs> 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 All right, I swear Stewart's is 18 good. roads to perdition were 18 years in the making. Nine. Yes, nine. Grr. If Santos is the answer, you were asking the wrong question. Ten. Wow. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, yeah. 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 Well. Nice. Okay. Okay, here we go Down with the bonus. So in the bonus round, good, Rob. Celia, bonus we, usually, time. we usually do like t 10 of something. Uh, a list. Oh, she was here last week. Sort of thing. Who was in here? Somebody was in here last week. Karen, Karen, the other Karen. Karen, Karen, Karen was in there. She's gone. Okay. So, so someone mentioned atheism in the beginning, which they were psychic because this is going to be the best atheism books. Oh. <laughs> All right, muting now. No, 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 not yet. 
All right. Judging the best. Name 10 of the top 20 best atheism books in the world, according to Short Form's list of 100 best atheism books of all time. They have a list of 100. Name 10 of the top 20. Oh, oh, there's 100 geez. atheist books. Wow. And, well, there, there's a lot more than 100, but they're saying yeah. they, they listed a the top 100. So, oh, and my here, God. How are we going to do this? And, and, wow. and here, here, I'm going to give this is how they came up with it. They said, we have researched and ranked the best atheism books in the world based on recommendations from world experts, sales data, and millions of reader ratings. A whole bunch when of did things. this list come out? This is a uh, question. It's, it's current. Let's see. Actually, I'm going to check it. Let me check it now. Good question. Well, this is a category we've never had before. <laughs> I hate when they don't. Best, best of all time, right? Articles. Uh, yes. There's no it's a tough goddamn category. What the but heck? New so, I mean, it, it's their current website, so I can't. You know. What is considered an atheism book? Are we? We're going to our rooms to guess this, right? So I. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Say. <laughs> so right. I, I don't, trust me. Now. I'm not. I don't know. I can't see my shelf from here. All right. So here we go. And we're not going to do mono rules. So. Thank God. Okay. Oh, I get it. Thank God. Uh -huh. <laughs> I know. I'm just, I'm here all day. I'm going to try to lean over here and see what I can see. I know nothing. I have some books on my shelf that I can't read because they're covered up by a gargoyle. I can think of five off the top of my head. Okay. Would, would Demon Hunt World wouldn't count. I think it would. As an I atheist think book? It well, you can put it if you can't think of anything else. I, I would put the God Demon Delusion. Hunting World. I'd put the God Delusion. I'd put uh, the why I'm an Atheist, or what is it, the Madeline Murray O'Hare book? Um, <clears throat> why? Oh, what Letters to Christian saying? Nation. Um, I'd put the Selfish Gene, the God Delusion, and the Missionary Position. Oh, yeah, the missionary position. Okay, and I said, what did I just say? Uh, letter to a Christian nation. What? Letter to a Christian nation. Why I am an atheist. I think it's called that. It's by Madeline Murray O'Hare. Um, if I'm off a word or two, I think it's, I think it's pretty Another cool. Hitchens book, God is Not Great. Oh, yeah. And I'd, I'd also throw in the selfish gene. Yeah. Um, did I say another one earlier than this? The... Is there a book called Holy Kool-Aid? No. <laughs> <laughs> Just a YouTube channel. There should be. Uh, there should be. I think I said something. Did I say something? Can we rewind the tape so I can remember what it was I just said before I mentioned the letter to a Christian nation? I can see the God delusion over there. Uh, I think we should put the demon haunted world up there. Okay, put it until we can think of something else. Um, I, would, I would keep it up there. Okay. Uh, I have a bunch on cults I can see. And guide to the Bible. I can see those. What was, what was Daniel Dennett's book? Uh, oh what was okay sam harris wrote a letter to a christian nation yeah right uh daniel yeah. Dennett wrote what did he write i can't remember this is the four men of the four four men of the apocalypse right is that yeah it? yes um and hitchens wrote um uh god is not great and the missionary position did dawkins is dawkins one of the four horsemen of the apocalypse yeah. yes okay we get, yeah any other books of his you can think of or any other um the, the that are not gene. science hmm? the selfish gene was dawkins yeah we have that up there already don't we yeah yeah shoot let me think no uh, number the four horsemen of the apocalypse is not a book 
Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. It's they're four. They're four, and they're all white men. Four men who are <laughs> considered the um, the four horsemen of Apocalypse. The they call them the four horsemen of the apocalypse. Yeah. Yeah. And um, uh, anything by Dennett. Anything by. Oh, oh, I already said that. Okay. Um, um how about Infidel by uh Ayan Hirsi Ali? Could be anything by PZ Myers or Michael Sherman. Shermer, why why we believe weird things or why it's, I don't think of those as atheism books. I just think of them as critical thinking books or but somebody might have categorized them as a white people believe weird things is that the yeah maybe if you can't come up with a 10th oh wait um i could see another shelf over here where i have some other things let me see why is in the question not as in the color white why w-h-y although that would be a good book too white people believe weird things white people is that, that, that a book be, that would be like a trump book oh, it was a typo why people believe weird things is a book by michael Shermer. okay <laughs> very famous book but yeah. um i have one called belief on my shelf behind me but i don't think it's famous what's um the guy his name is barker i can't remember his first name oh the one that created the foundation um yes freedom from religion freedom from religious foundation his name it's, is barker he plays piano yeah, uh, and his wife is named. Yes, he's written Brown. several books. Can you think of one? Um, I've got one upstairs. Am I allowed to go upstairs and look at my book? No, I can't even get out of my chair. To look you at shout it. at someone who would hear you upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have mostly paranormal books. I'm not really interested in the religion angle. Um, but if I can get an autographed book, I am happy as heck. I think I see another Dawkins book here. Hold on, let me see if I can see it from here. I picked it up just the other day. I saw it and I said, I'm buying it. I want that. And it is. What is it? Oh, The Greatest Show on Earth? No, that's probably a science book. Oh, damn it. Yeah, that's about right. It's right there on a shelf. And it's and it says Richard Dawkins in bright yellow and then and then black. I can't read it because the, the chairs. Something game. Something. Um. Damn it! I can't see it. I'll do Barker. Nineteen seconds. Oh, we're already done. Shh. Do we have everything we need? Well, we have 10, but take a look at the 10. List. Make sure I type what you guys were saying. <laughs> Everybody's going to get 10 on this, so. Yeah, everybody probably will get 10. <laughs> this group. I could see a, a 9 or an 8 even. Well, How about um, like something by Bertrand Russell or something? Oh, why I'm an agnostic. Well, Isn't he, didn't he have that book on agnosticism? Burton Russell. Richard Russell. He and how about and then there's another guy from the old days. Um what was that guy's name? Shit. It's are you talking about the or orator? Isn't that Bertrand Russell? No, there was another guy. Uh so I would put why I'm an agnostic before I do why people believe word things. Okay. Because that's not really about religion. Yeah, the weird things is not about religion, it's about skepticism. Bertrand That's, is B-E-R-T-R-A-N-D. Bertrand Russell. Um, Paul Kurtz did a whole bunch of books too, and I can't for the life of me think of what they are called. Oh my gosh. I guess we're fine. The old the older person I, I'm thinking of his name is Robert, and it's his last name starts with the letter S. Robert Lewis Ingersoll? Yes, that guy. Ingersoll. Uh, he was the he was the orator. He was really good. Or the, but I'm gonna leave it to you, Troy, to keep score. But oh, I think I we, we should probably be okay with these. I mean, I think, I think we're stuck with them now. It's eight seconds. Yeah. Yeah. Good job, you guys.
I don't know. I didn't think I'd come up with even one. Man. I guess that was easy because we came back really quick. Yeah. I I I have them within view, but I couldn't leave my chair to go get them in good conscience. So <laughs> I could couldn't so, see them. So your book, like, your bookshelf. One of my books. Yeah, they're all over. But you have faith that they're there. Ha ha. Yeah. I'm really, I'm really not interested in the atheist books. I'm really not. But I have them. But I'm not. Wait, why do you have them all then? Because I get them autographed. I like autographed books. So where do you go that you get these people, these specific people to autograph if you're not going to atheist conventions and stuff? They well, because they've board. also written stuff from, from well, let's see, the book list. I'll, yeah. I can tell you how many I have that are autographed. But yeah, some of them I understand, but some of them I don't. Okay, so here we go. Them. Here we go, everybody. Here we go. Number one. Uh, I expect everyone will get this. Are they in numerical order? Yes. Or it got, number one is the God delusion. Woohoo! And I cannot tell you, as I said, how many people called or recovering from religion lying when they mentioned that book as being very instrumental in their leaving religion. Number two, this one also gets a lot of mention. God is not great. Itch. Is itch. Yeah. Yeah. Number three is, I have never heard of this book, The Portable Atheist. Anyone put that one down? Oh, no. Yeah, we yeah. did not have that one. Somebody said yes? Yes. All right, so now here we go, sort, sort yeah, of a crossover. I got it on, got it on my and, Kindle. And, and, oh, and I heard people say, well, we really shouldn't use science books, but this is on the list, The Demon Haunted World. Oh, oh we took it off, it off, damn it. Took it off. God damn it. A theist called the atheist experience this weekend. I listened to the episode today, and they spent 20 minutes arguing with this guy who said, because you said that, that proves there's a God. Because he oh, put God. himself in your heart. Even atheists say, God damn it, and God bless you, and God whatever. That <laughs> proves there's a God. Ah, my Dawkins, <laughs> God delusion is autographed. Number five. Wow. Nice. Yeah, Number mine five. Too. Letter to this a Christian one. nation. The first one. Yeah. Uh, uh, yep. Number six. Pitchens. Oh, damn it. Another Sam Harris book, The End of Faith. Oh, oh I'm also that. really good. I yep. put that. Yep. We're Sorry, Faith. We didn't really mean it. <laughs> <laughs> Not your end. It's okay. I'm all right. This is why I wish my mom didn't name me this name. Nothing personal. <laughs> Number seven. Another Dawkins book. The Selfish Gene. Oh, oh, that's oh. Yeah. sorry, guys. I was thinking Gail. into biology. Okay. Yeah. Biology. You win, though. I heard somebody <laughs> mention this. I don't know if it made their list. Sapiens. Yeah. Oh, oh. Well, I wanted that one. That's and I not already a again. religious book <laughs> or atheist. Oh, it's weird. Okay, yeah, that's what um, I said. I didn't nine. Atheist book at all. Uh, this is by Bertrand Russell. <laughs> Why I am not a Christian and other hey. essays. Hmm. Yay! Got but he got Yay. that one. Yay. Yay. we got yeah. that one. Yeah, thank you. Steve. I have it right here. Yeah, is that mm -hmm. autographed? No, it's Bertrand Russell. <laughs> Bertrand Russell. Well, I'm sure I'm sure you can give it to TJ and he can do some, uh, what do they call it, handwriting from those beyond. Uh, Breaking yeah. a Spell by Daniel Yeah, uh, Yay, yeah. we had that one. Oh, good. Uh, All right, so I yeah, also heard people... The Four Horsemen books have to be on there. And the, the what? <laughs> the, the, the Four Horsemen books. Uh, yeah. Yes. Exactly. So I also remember people mentioning this, and they might have taken it off because it's really like a science book, but The Greatest Show on Earth. Yay, we uh, added it back. Yeah. That was a, that was we we debated that one a lot on whether it was classified as an atheism. And this one was one of the first books I ever read by Richard Dawkins, maybe the first as a teenager, The Blind Watchmaker. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh I've forgotten that one. Well, at least the one that we replaced the demon with was <laughs> on there, too. So we were covered either way. <laughs> All right. Another Harris book, Waking Up, A Guide to Spirituality Without uh, Religion. Uh, no, nope. yeah, no. Sure, yeah. Is that Sam Harris from Star Search in the 80s? <laughs> yeah, sure. This is the one I just got. It's sure. called uh, Brief Candle in the Dark by, by Dawkins. My life in science, but that's a biography or oh, autobiography. Yeah. The greatest show on earth. All right. So speaking of Dawkins, number 14 is another Dawkins book. The magic of reality. Uh, Very good book. Oh, I right? oh, autographed down. We there. had that on My there. Favorite. We took it off. Number 15. 
Lawrence M. Krauss, mm -hmm. Atheism, oh. the Case Against God. Mm -hmm. Lawrence Krauss. Yay, we got I didn't know he wrote that. something. I yeah, didn't know he wrote that either. I, mean, I know he wrote books. You know, I, that was my first atheist book, but I don't remember him as the author. I just remember it, the book yeah. title. Yeah, you know, oh, and he got yeah. second billing, George Smith. Okay. Wrote. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, he, yeah. he was not the major author of that one. 16 is a Dan Barker. I heard somebody mention his name. God yeah, loves. I, I have this book, How an Evangelical oh, Preacher yeah. Became one of our list, Oh, we could that. not remember. We're, <laughs> we couldn't remember his first name. We were just going, The Piano Guy, The Last Name is Barker. That was one of the Barker. two deconver deconversion books I have read. The other one was Deconverted by, by uh, Seth. But didn't, it did not make this list. Uh, 17. Morality. I didn't know about this. Oh, mortality. 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 Sorry. Yeah, I have that. Number mm -hmm. eighteen. And people mention why were all these authors men, which for, predominantly they are, but finally we get a woman. Ian Hersey Ali is infidel. Oh, of course. Oh, oh. Yes. we got that. The only woman on the list. I think did we get that? Yeah, we put that. Yeah, we got that. But I think we screwed up a couple. I think we switched two titles between Bertrand Russell and Madeline Murray O'Hare. I think you're right. Number 19. Oh, we screwed that up. Another one by Sam Harris. He might have the most on this list. Uh, the Moral Landscape. Oh. Yeah, we had that one. Yeah. And um, I don't know who these authors are, but one of the, the family names is familiar. Maybe there's a relationship here. Atheist Universe, The Thinking Person's Answer to Christian Fundamentals by David Mills and Dorian Sagan. Oh. Mm -hmm. Can you torture mm -hmm. us by giving us like the next few? No, I'll give. I will give you the. the I'll give you <laughs> a, link. a link. I'll give you a link. Yes. Okay. You so, so there. did I miss it? And and there's no book on here by Madeline Marie O'Hare. Nope, not in the top. That point. is a, that was the book that turned me. Hmm. That's the book yeah. I found that checked out of the library. Hid hid it as I checked it out. Of the yeah, library. You, I've heard you talk yeah, about that. Blue. Oh my god, that was terrifying to be 17 <laughs> and want that book and i was so terrified my parents were gonna my mom would find out oh my god yeah premier is upset with your list he says we should just have harry potter on here if you're gonna include science <laughs> if you're gonna include what include potter, science potter. books yeah harry seriously potter. how is that i just I mean, have to share this with you because you won't shut the fuck up about it well, no I, <laughs> I agree with him it's stupid to have we debated well, that too. But all right, it, so it, if, if you didn't I include science books, there's no way you'd get a hundred. Yeah. So if Susan, I just put them all in and two two lists for you. Against make the it possibility easy. of a divine being to be considered an atheist book. So there we go. What are the scores? So I mean sapiens. Oh my god. Hey. Uh, 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 number twenty five. Hmm? No, number 25 is the gospel of the flying spaghetti monster. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah. Now, oh, we had the issue. Robin, did you know uh, Bob Jernigan? Bob who? Uh, Bob Jernigan is uh, on the... Uh, on, on the, the Patrick O'Brien oh, list? The Golden yeah. Compass? I, I think I, I recognize... Is it atheist the, book? I recognize uh, the name, definitely. but I... Didn't well, it, know his him. wife is still on the on the list. Okay. Yeah. The oh, whole this is crazy. Anyway, oh, dang it. He defined right. the whole his he defined, the, series is based on atheism. Yep. Okay. I know, my but friend, this is weird. Hmm? Okay. My friend Bob Jernigan defined faith in five terms. There was the evangelical believer, the plain believer, the evangelical atheist, the plain <laughs> atheist. And then three layers of uh, agnostic. And he defined the evangelical agnostic as, I don't know, and neither can you. Uh, <laughs> so uh, that's what we, that's my we've, personal We've moved definition. way past that stage. Huh? <laughs> we've moved way past that stage. Have you? Yeah. I think so, yeah. <laughs> Atheism and agnosticism deal with different questions. All right, we, so we're going to move we on don't, to we don't we're going to move on to scores. Anymore. We're done How with about semantics. That? So, by the way, the, the God Virus is written by the uh, president, uh, creator, and still president of the organization I volunteer for, the yeah. Recovering yeah, from Parker. Religion, and it's thirty eight on the list, which is really good. We recommend it a lot. We we were close, team. The missionary position was twenty three. 
on the mm-hmm. list. It was wow. not in the top 20. Okay, so before we get to scores, which is happening in a couple seconds, um, I have a question. Oh, sure. Okay, so number nine is we had a Bertram Russell book. This one says why I am not a Christian and other essays on religion and related subjects. We had written down why I'm an agnostic. Is that a different book? By Bertrand Russell. Yeah, same person. So I don't, I don't know. We just got another book. I, we just got the title. I don't that think that book exists, and that's entirely my fault because I was thinking he's the great agnostic, and I guess I blumped on the title. Sorry, guys. No, that's so not no the great. One. He's not the great agnostic. Ingersoll was. Ingersoll was right. But that's how my mind was going like this. <laughs> Ugh, sorry. All right. Okay. Scores. I, oh, by the way, I still need one more person for next week. I thought you had everyone. No, okay, never mind. I lied. I have everybody. Okay. Here we go. That was quick. <laughs> Thank you for volunteering, whoever it was. All right. Where, where are we at? Oh, yeah, Kevin did. DeSantis would be a DeSanter. Disaster. Disaster. That's seven. Right. Seven. I think they seven. should connect the point for a great team name. That's yeah, a get the booby yeah. prize. Yeah, yeah that's, get that's true. Prize. Being special gets you 18 years. Eight. Well, you guys came back from... from. Yeah, we did. We needed it. Those first few rounds were atrocious. <laughs> yeah, yeah, kind of embarrassing, the first three rounds. Uh, a lot, until Polly got there for some reason. Um <laughs> Just saying. We needed her on round one. I'm sticking up for you, Paula. It's my fault. Uh, well, now we could read you the questions another day. Alexa, we're going. We're going back in time and bringing Paula <laughs> with us. Raise the debt ceiling. We got five. We beat someone. <laughs> yeah, you beat us. <laughs> no, we didn't. Sorry, we didn't. Never mind. You're welcome. Oh, I swear, Stewart's 18 roads to perdition were years in the making. Six. Sorry, you guys, I know one of them was my fault. If Santos is the answer, you're asking the wrong question. Eight. Oh. Wow. Oh. Nice. You guys, geez. That was a, wow. That was good. I, I didn't think I'd know any of those atheism books, but I, I, I started to remember them, but then I screwed them up anyway. To, to, to be fair, those second and third rounds, if you look at the average, we were not far off from the average anyway. So. Yeah. yeah. Aren't so bad. Those were just tough rounds. Oh, my gosh, you guys. Okay. So if anybody wants to hang out um, afterwards. Oh, I want to show you really real quick something. Really quick. Really, really, really quick. So I do have this channel. It's not a channel. I do have this site. It's a swag site. And it is for t-shirts and other swag. Mm-hmm. And I've just uploaded two new things to it. So I want to make sure that everybody's aware of it. If you want any kind of swag, we have our Girl of Skeptics. Um, Girl of Skeptics. Girl of Skeptics about time, which is what Carolyn was wearing uh-huh. the other day. We have Girl of Skeptics on Wikipedia. We have three different uh, 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 <laughs> of these. A disgusting collection of dirty mole rats, which <laughs> is what, what we were called <laughs> by... Um, uh, something like that we were called and so i have that and these all come in t-shirts and, and you can get them as all sorts of stuff and this is the one i've just uploaded right now it's a t-shirt for monterey county skeptics and it can be changed to have any color you want so they could be i, I just got that done while we were playing the game so so yeah. can we become honorary of course Monterey county uh members so that yeah, we can wear the shirt ups, it's got absolutely it's got all, right. all sorts of stuff Santa Cruz has got a really cool one too, and I'm really tempted to get that one as well, but I don't have it on my site, but those are options. So I just want everybody to know that there are some swag out there for the, um, I don't know, for the next conferences, if you need something to wear and you don't want to have something that's funny. The, um, Where's put that the link? link on your on your Facebook page. Yeah, so I'm going to put it up. I mean, I did it just like minutes ago while you guys were here. And I need to wear thing. that to combat one of my... Uh... One of my coworkers, uh, Trump uh-huh. shirts. Ooh. Trump shirts. Well, I do have yeah. the. I do have those. If you guys are still interested in those, those you are there. Every once in a while, somebody buys one. Um, 
And if I log out and then log back in, I will show you. And you know, it keeps me it keeps me in milk duds. Oh God. <laughs> what would you do without your daily dose of milk duds, Susan? I go through withdrawals. Exactly. For reals. Okay. And so that candy, candy withdrawal is real. <laughs> and this is the channel. And we're gonna do it. I have some different photos that can be put on things. And then, of course, the famous mm -hmm. cup or pillow or whatever. Now available for only six easy payments mm -hmm. at $19.99. <laughs> Shipping and handling not included. So I'll does, autograph does the it for you. Go to about time. No, uh, the fuck Trump comes to me. I got to buy milk duds. I mean, what are you going to do? <laughs> <laughs> the other stuff goes to about time, and then I use it to buy swag and stuff for other things. So it's all used. It's all useful. Anyway, hmm. thank you for joining me or being joined to me or whatever. But thank you uh, for anybody who wanted to leave. But. Thanks, um, Susan. Anybody I wants know. to stay, I want to talk about. I want to Gale, talk. About see the... you Wednesday. Yes. yes. I'm going to get up in 10 minutes ago, so I'm heading out. Okay. Well, thank you so much. Good night, Ron. See you next week. Good, Good night, Ron. everybody. Good what night, did you want to talk about, Susan? Susan? I want to talk, want about, talk the... about the. I want to talk about the 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 group. This group. I want to talk want about. Want to keep that. recording? Yeah, you're right. I'll probably turn it off. That's probably a good idea. Good night, everyone. Good night.